time and uh, kind of saw this coming and thought it was going to be a bad deal. So yeah, yeah, it makes me sad though. Oh, there we are. There we are. Yes, <laughs> we're on there. But we are not on YouTube. The event is there. Oh, there it is. You got it. We're there now. That we're live on YouTube? Yeah, we're live on YouTube. Well, you fixed it. Okay, I go back to okay, you. Okay, so then if I end this one, does it end the stream? All right, so those notifications, see where it says Aaron Riker right there? Those notifications are what we're working on tonight. So let's see why that happens. I need sugar. Sugar. All right, this might be a little loud for me. <laughs> Mace is about to clang some stuff around. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, I need sugar. So I'm not sure where those alerts are coming from. Let me play with it on here. What are you guys up to tonight? Are you guys enjoying the quarantine? Everybody getting through this okay? Let me read it for the notification. Jimmy, this thing doesn't work very well. Oh, there. Wait. Is it working? It doesn't want to, no. No, see, we have a big, big thing right there. And that doesn't need to happen. Like Did you guys see how it was like super stuttery when we um, went live today? So I'm fairly certain that that stuttering is from um, my phone not being able to handle the animation that goes along with that sound and stuff. Let me, I don't know if this will pause the stream or not. Hold on. If not, you're gonna get like I'll get up you my guys nose. A cookie. Oh, there I am. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go here. Back in this. Change this around. Add that. Move this up here. This has been harder to set up than I thought it would be. Like, we're having to multi stream to several different places. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to work on getting this so it doesn't, so the actual, um, the actual notification just comes on top. And I don't really want Facebook likes to be on top. I'd rather have that be just donations and um, like membership, shares, yeah. like shares. Yeah. Like people on Patreon and everything like that. I got an eggshell. <laughs> Shocker. Those, was it the brown eggs? Yes. The new brown eggs from Meyer. I don't know if you guys have Meyer where you are, but the new brown eggs from Meyer are so, they're so thick. But you it's get terrible. Egg you get eggs, yeah, you get shells all over. Ew. This is so they like, they bust everywhere. I haven't successfully broken one yet. I don't know what the deal is. He made brownies a couple of weeks ago, and he's like, do you want a brownie? I was like, yeah. Made extra crunchy brownies. And then I was like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was just eggshells. It was <laughs> awful. Extra crunch. It was extra crunch. Let me send another notification. Eggs. I don't like those brown eggs. That's a lot going on, right? Like that's a lot of noise. Dude, Joe, how much experience do you have with um, Streamlabs and Restream?
Oh, that's terrible. Why does it do that? What? It like goes nuts. It sends a bunch of notifications all at once. It like goes crazy sending uh, like the sound and the everything like that. I just want to show text. That's all I'm looking for. Is Joe like your friend Joe? Yeah, Joe Lacrosse. Plan is to come back to Canada. Yes, we would love to come back to Canada. There's been so many people asking. Um, obviously, once this opens up, we would love to come back. Um, I think where they want us to come back to uh, PEI. And we've got a place in Alberta, a place in Ontario, yeah. um, a lot of places. These directions are really confusing. Yeah, T's <laughs> Yeah, Don, we, um, we're gonna upload the, the last video, like the first couple minutes didn't have any sound, for some reason it muted. Um, so we're going to re-upload that onto YouTube. Yeah. Brittany, does your boyfriend have a lot of experience with Streamlabs? Um, Cause my PC is pretty good, um, but it's actually my phone that I have a hard time with. Like my phone, cause I have to run this off my phone, right? When we're at the barn. So trying to get this to work, um, the, I don't know where the phone's getting the alerts from. I'm fairly certain if I ran this off Streamlabs on my computer, it'd be just fine. Okay. Now I just gotta stir it. Yeah, so Joe, the um the widgets tab doesn't for some reason. The alerts box. If I send this, do I need to copy this widget URL and put it in my mobile? I don't have an iPad. No, I use um, I use an Android phone. He streams a lot. Does he do it off mobile? Like, does he do live streams? Because I know if I did it off my PC, it'd be probably just fine. She said, why do we see the Facebook live messages on the video? Is that something you're trying to fix? Yeah, it's something I'm working on. Look how smooth this is. This is like butter. Oh, getting whipped. I think I did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. I like the confidence. It is really smooth though. All right, let me try this again. Do you guys refrigerate your cookies? I'll tell you what, we have, that's the best cookie recipe. That one that we're using, that she's making. It's off Yumly. Yeah, it's like the sour cream, uh, soft batched, something like that. Yeah. Let me add another custom URL. What do you guys want to see tomorrow on the live stream? Should we do showmanship? Finally changes. I thought about doing showmanship. Live stream with PC. Yeah, see, I'm fairly certain if I could use my PC. Joe's cookies never make past the dough stage. You see, I won't let Jeremy do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what doesn't, my brownie mix, I just I'm eat so that afraid, plain. like, because of the, the raw eggs, I'm so afraid he's gonna get um, salmonella. It's not really a thing. That other thing. So that's what it's gonna do, right? Yeah. Salmonella. I don't. I don't really worry about salmonella anymore. The eggs have so much stuff in them. Well, these eggs do. These eggs, these brown eggs, seem fresh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We fresh. <laughs> raw raw eggs. eggs. Yeah. yeah. See, I see. Jeremy is always like. No fear. Yeah, I was like, no well, fear. just give it to me. I'll, I'll be fine. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. We need to no wait fear. until it's cooked. I think that's good. What do you think? 
Okay, so you guys hear that notification sound, right? That shouldn't happen. I don't understand. I don't know where it's pulling this from. They have edible cookie dough recipes that are super good. I'm going to have to try that. That'd be so good. Teaching a lazy horse to back and teaching him to play his favorite foot showmanship. Showmanship. Okay, yeah. We can definitely do it tomorrow. What time works good for you guys, too? Yeah, that's been a big thing for us. We're trying to figure out the best time to stream. We don't know if it's good to do, like, after 5 or, like, 1 o'clock. So... I don't really know, especially now because it's quarantine. I don't know if everyone's working or if you guys are all working from home. It's been really nice. I've been having to do school from home. <laughs> That's yeah. been amazing. Jeremy's like, college is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Just had the easiest run of college ever. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like my psychology teacher, she just gave me like 100% on a paper. I was like, this is so nice. <laughs> Laura, I've never been to Alberta or Saskatchewan, no. We've done PEI, we've done um, Yarmouth, we've done... Wait, wasn't that Alberta or you can go skiing? Yeah, Alberta's the far west yeah, side. Yeah, that'd be amazing. It'd be so much fun. Have you done another lead change since the other day? I have not. No, but nope. we should. I should, yeah. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> nope, what time been... is it in Canada right now? They're an hour ahead of us, I think. It's 8, 10 there. 8? You mean yep. behind us? <laughs> Our, well, <laughs> okay, so is, is Canada ahead or behind us? If it's 8 o'clock they're, they're behind us on the clock. Us. They're ahead of us in time, though. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Earlier would be better than Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Yeah. So, 9 a.m. or 10. Oh, you're asking me way too early. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, Just the problem kidding. is we have... Um, we have people in Australia. We have a lot of Australian viewers, right? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Do two for one weekend skiing in a clinic. That'd be amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. 7-Eleven here in, what was it, SK? Saskatchewan. 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 Wasn't that in Grown Ups? Saskatchewan. Couldn't even tell you. I have no idea. Okay, maybe not. Sketch it, sketch it, something like that. Yeah, so what, what time works good for like America and Australia? Because if I understand Australia right, you're in my face. I'm letting them see <laughs> my I, cookies. If I understand Australia right, I think that they are two hours ahead and then add 12. So like right now it should be yeah, 11 a.m. in Australia. It is a little runny. I haven't added the flour or anything like that yet. <laughs> I have to have to, don't judge yet. You gotta trust the system. Sandy had a question. Sandy, uh, not in a sea, but rather in a... Yeah, JoJo's in New Zealand. Oh, wow. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah, I so you, when we're streaming at like 5, 6 o'clock in the afternoon here, it's morning for you. Like you haven't gone to work yet. It's like 8 a.m. there, right? It'd be like 7, 8 a.m. Yeah? Yeah. They're like the next day. How about the, you mentioned that riding in a C. Yeah, so so people I'm really get messed up the where they've got that horse bent up in a C, right? Like they're here, and what happens is they get their hips over, but then they pull their head over too. So usually I see that, like people are riding like, if I'm right leading around, they're riding like this. I guess it'd be left for you guys. But I'm right here like this, and you, um, you try to push your hip also. So then you end up with this big bend in your horse's body, where your ribs are kind of like poking out to the outside and your shoulders poke out to the outside. So everything just kind of tips over around that leg. So what you're looking for more is that hockey stick shape where it just kicked over right there, right? And that's gonna be just behind the saddle, just that loin kicked over. That's all you want. The rest of it all needs to be going straight like this, right? So we tell people we want three lanes where we've got outside shoulder, outside hind, inside front leg, and then inside hind. Okay, so you want like, like three lanes right here, where this right here in the middle is you. This is outside shoulder, inside hind, okay? That's a much better position to be in. It's right behind the saddle is where you want it bent. That's all it's gotta move over, it's just his loin. And that's why people run into trouble because they want their hip really far over, and then you end up with, with way more than just your loin going over, it doesn't work. Yeah, Jasmine, that's super common. 
Super common. That's how I rode when I was a kid too, just having that hip kicked way too far over. And then what, like, usually what happens is your horse end up going down the rail like this because they don't even bend like that. So then your horse just goes sideways and they're basically just climbing the fence the whole time, like going along, not good. Do what? Hard cooking by yourself. Hard cooking by yourself, yeah. What bit do we ride them in? We ride them in a lot of snaffles, a ton of snaffles. Um, medium twist snaffles, by far my favorite bit. Oh, it's still making that sound. I wonder why. I don't know. <laughs> Question for both of us. What are our favorite and least favorite show clothes trends? Ooh. Ooh. That's um, I think my favorite show horse trend would probably be um like a cool hat with like a really nice tight fitting blouse. Oh, and I love the boleros. Those are probably my favorite. I actually have one. I made it myself, but I never had shown it. Yeah. So I didn't finish it in time. But probably my least favorite would be your least favorite. Um probably my favorite. I just like if you watch Macy's show, we showed in just a blouse, like a really tight fitting blouse. Um just something clean. And then we just used, um, we matched the hat to the pad. Mm -hmm. There was, I do like that. As I said, I do like, it looks really nice. Yep. But my least favorite? Probably when your outfit's overdone. <laughs> okay, like, okay, I got one for you. Okay, I got one. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so least favorite is ill-fitting. Yes. Okay. Right? And, oh, fringe, yeah. <laughs> fringe. And for me, brown, anything brown. <laughs> Why? I've never seen an outfit that was brown that wouldn't look better if it was any other color. That's true. It would, any other color, it would look better. I don't think I don't think I like the super like blingy outfits with like the like the all done hats and everything. I think it's too much because you don't want to distract. His keyboard's really loud and he loves it like this, so I'm really sorry, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. And like I do like the blingy <laughs> sorry, stuff. I do like the blingy stuff, but um, I don't know. It's not my favorite. I used, I had, I did rent a blingy outfit for the NSB world when Finding Joe. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when did I rent that blingy outfit? Was it 2017? Um, yeah, when you showed Charlie the NSB. Yeah, world. and it, I mean it was beautiful. It was I mean, gorgeous. I it was loved, like a six thousand dollar jacket. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Michael. But yeah, um, see browns. I don't like brown. I do like brown. It would look really, good I don't, any I don't other really color. have like a hate. I think if as long as it, it fits you nice, it needs to fit your personality too. Yeah. You know, it's gotta yeah, like it's gotta fit your personality. If it's not like who you are. Okay, what do you guys think about suits and showmanship? I bet you see people think about that. Because Jeremy loves suits and showmanship. I do. I do love a good suit but and showmanship. Do you guys like it? I don't know. I'm I, again I think it has to fit your personality. You know, what do you think? Wait, what? Sorry. <laughs> I hear you in my ears. That's really hard. Well, let me mute this because I'm hearing you twice. Okay. All right. Do you, I don't even know what I was saying. I lost what I was saying. Oh, yeah. No, I said I think if you're going to wear a suit, it has to fit your personality. Yeah. Like if yeah. you're a really like sharp and classy person and like you don't like suits. Yeah. See, I, I only think a few people can pull it off. Like if it fits your personality and your body type, I think. Yeah. Yep. I agree with that. Okay, so Dawn, I will agree with you there. Brown, tan, and teal. That is beautiful. Looks on a good on a chestnut, chestnut horse. Yeah. On a chestnut, yeah. I love teal on a chestnut horse. I think it's beautiful. You love <laughs> suits? Yeah, see? Some people love them. Is that a gaming chair? Okay, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> little Don't known little known fact, right? <laughs> little known fact. I'm a huge computer freak, like tech guy. Yes, you are. Um, so one of my other loves is like working on my computer and gaming and stuff and macy's a big gamer too so don't no, let her fool no, you no, no, so no. if we're in our free time we are usually gaming especially like through the quarantine right so yeah. yes it is a gaming chair i'll show you guys my setup here oh, so here's what here's what we have this is what we're working with 
computer, gigantic computer, mic, monitors. Yes. Do you guys play any video games? Our favorite video game is Final Fantasy. We love Final Fantasy. What colors look good on a Bay Roan? Ooh, what do you think on a Bay Roan? Everything. I said those usually fit really good. Anything Bay, everything looks great. <laughs> fitting, but not sausage tight. Sausage tight. <laughs> Just squeeze it in there, right? <laughs> I love suits. I'm petite and it looks really clean. Yeah, I bet it looks really nice. I can't escape the PC gamers, exactly. <laughs> purple would be really pretty too. I do like purple. Yeah, Sandy, you've got a good point there. Anything that makes you feel confident, right? No, no Joe. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear what Final Fantasy you're playing and not telling me because we played Final Fantasy XIV on your recommendation. You bailed on us. <laughs> Macy and I are like almost two Shadowbringers, or almost two Shadowbringers, yeah. and you're not even involved. But yeah, so Sandy, you've got a great point there. Like, um, it's just about being confident, right? Whatever you're going to wear, if you feel confident, you're going to show confident. And that's the bigger picture, right? So and honestly, like if you need the bling to feel like you belong there, my advice to you would be like getting more confident in the first place. But if you need that, then do it, right? Like use that to go show. Because a lot of people just like, they get to the horse show and they look around and they're like, oh my God, these girls have thousand dollar outfits and stuff and they just it feel left out. Yep, yep, they get scared. Yep. It is hard. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, 1160 suits but in petite and it looks really clean. Exactly, exactly. And then, do you want salt in your cookies? Yeah, it's always good. Uh oh, I think our chat's froze. Macy eating again? Macy's always eating. Okay. She's always, she's making cookies. <laughs> Who said that? My mom. Oh, jeez. Absolutely love the suit look. Yeah, yeah, like I love a good clean, just clean, form-fitting. You don't need to go spend $1,000 most of the time if you go out there. Like people want to cry politics all the time, but honestly, if you go out there and you're wearing clean, form-fitting, looks good, like you're going to do way better. Like, does this look like too much flour? Does that look normal? It looks like a ton. That looks normal, right? Looks normal. You mix all the baking soda and stuff in, right? Yeah, baking soda. Baking soda, baking powder in there. Yeah. Mix it up. So now yeah. we mix all the flours, like all the baking soda and all that stuff together. Cooking with Macy. <laughs> you better be able to rock it if they're wearing the bling. Yeah, I feel like even if you do wear the bling, you stand out a lot more too. I yep. don't know. But even if you do wear like a blouse, a lot of people don't. Wear that, so you do stand out that way too. Can you guys hear his keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> Type really fast. He has like this gamer keyboard, so like. I'll show you. He likes it when like the springs like bounce back. Right? Yeah, mechanical <laughs> keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, so it like you can hear it from miles away. Is she gonna share the cookie recipe? We can share the cookie. I can share the cookie recipe. I gotta put them in the um. I gotta put them in the refrigerator for a minute. I'll finish this and then I'll share the cookie recipe. Do you guys have Yumly? It's on Yumly. Yes, it's on Yumly. The dry ingredients. The dry ingredients. Yes. <laughs> I the, have to the mix flowery those. ingredients. I have to mix those. <laughs> Classy figure flattering, not crazy plain. Perfect. Yep, that's exactly what I'd like to see. A lot of people get hung up on the outfits. You you really want to stand out from other people. Like don't if everyone was wearing white, it'd be hard to judge. Yeah. Right? But if you uh if you stand out then you'd be fine. What do you guys think about tails? Do you guys like like a big, huge tail or something that just kind of fits the horse? I love a huge tail. You guys get some out and like, I'll put three in. <laughs> she's, she's like, we could just put two in there. We could just put two. Two two and a half pound tails. And they could just be hanging between their legs just slapping around. I yep. love that. I think I love it. Especially if you like a big hunter horse and it's like, it's just a big trotter. I think it's so pretty when you have that big tail. Or even for the pleasure, like when they're really good behind. Oh, I love it. But you're gonna have to, if you're going to do that, you have to, uh, you <laughs> yeah, have see, to like. Jeremy, see, girls understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look, I have two chats on there. What happened? I'm going to break it. Oh, I broke it. I'm breaking it. Do both of these have two chats? See, she has two for Lola. See, see, 
guys just don't understand. <laughs> We showed a two tails in the house for the higher saddle. Oh, uh, you guys are not helping. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> you guys are okay, not helping. I love big forelocks because I do that all the time. <laughs> I love a big forelock. I love a big tail because he wants to cut Peanut's mane. And I'm like, no, no. We're going to put a huge tail in here <laughs> with a long mane and a big forelock. <laughs> oh, no. Ain't a huge you tail if it gets hot in the box. Exactly. Same, okay, if it gets see, caught. Sandy and I, we're on the same page. <laughs> see, even Diana's like big, big tail. tail. See? I'm with you guys all the way. <laughs> My phone vibrating. Yeah, let me turn this on. Do not disturb. It's freaking me out. <laughs> <No. laughs> you guys, animals will be going nuts. All right, I gotta go put the dry ingredients in the wet ingredients. <laughs> there we go. Tail has to suit the horse. Yes. Yes. What did you say? Dawn says yes, fake forelock. Oh, yes. Brittany says she loves big forelocks. <laughs> Emma says bigger the better. Jasmine says big forelock. She flat irons it too. Oh, uh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't give her ideas. See, I tried to give her stuff, but he's like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> that made my horse fake forelocks look like a derp. Love the big tail as long as I've had Yeah, yeah. See, that's, if it if it fits the horse, right? If you've got a super skinny horse, you have this <laughs> giant tail, it would look kind of funny. No, it adds something to him, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, Jelani says, as long as they don't cut them in the legs, it's super distracting. Yes, I hate when they get caught in the yeah. legs. Yeah. I've heard, though, if you show sheen and dryer sheet the tail, it doesn't get caught. Then it doesn't get caught. So that helps a lot, too. Yeah. <laughs> How's that coming? I'm putting the the wet and the dry ingredients together, but I only do half because Jeremy can't help me mix these. So it's up to me to eat yes. my muscles. <laughs> you can get worn out here pretty quick. Do you guys make your what is happening? That's your phone going out. <laughs> I, I've honestly I've never heard of anybody flat ironing it. That's impressive. See now, like when I did the halter horses, when we did uh, the paint horses, we used to pull manes. Any of you guys pull manes? You don't. Uh, you don't cut them ever. Fake forelock, see, Jeremy. Well, let me get that mini. Oh, Dawn, she got it going on. <laughs> How about? This is like your um, dream barn. Do you guys make your own show clothes, or do you guys um, buy them? Me and my mom, Jeremy's brother, he sews, so he sewed me a, a bolero. And then yep. me and my mom went to like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and all that stuff, and we uh. What was that kitchen? You need a KitchenAid. She's got big muscles. I know. I've been dying to get KitchenAid. <laughs> you see, her arms are just gigantic. That that's the KitchenAid right there. It is. <laughs> She's a kitchen maid. Jasmine cosmetologist. Yeah, yeah. My brother is. Um, does my oh, hair? Does Macy's hair? Another thing too. Do you guys like dark lipstick? No. Oh. Jeremy, I'm out. Let, wait, let them hear. Let, them, let me I'm see out. what they say. <laughs> no, I hate it. I don't think I'm a fan of it. I want to hear what they say about it. <laughs> let me do a, a donation test so I don't get too distracted. I'll be chatting with you guys. I forget what I'm doing. Yeah, I need a kitchen agent. Mike only pulls mains. Yeah, see, you're technically, if you want to look really good, you don't. No, uh, she goes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If you want it to look really good, you don't actually cut it ever. You what just do you mean pull mains? No, like you no. Take your, you take your comb and you pull it. Like you pull it to the uh -huh. length you want. It's they hate it. That's so sad. But that's how the halter guys do it. Oh, she likes it, Jasmine. You like the dark lipstick? Okay. Mm, I hate the dark lipstick. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. I buy. I don't often blame myself. Oh, okay. See yeah. all these nose. <laughs> okay, why don't you guys like them? Like just as Dawn pulls me too. So I think let me let me test this out. Let's do a little. Look how good thing. this is looking. I'm gonna add some more. Okay. I think we can do. Nope, can't. All right, let's do another alert. No. I should put this in the big bowl. Mm, this thing is so annoying. Goth in a nose ring. Goth in a nose ring. Yeah, see, <laughs> I love it. I don't care how edgy you are. You are not edgy enough to uh, no. to wear a dark lipstick. It's no. just no place for it in a show pen. I hate it. Do you guys wear like bright pink? Or just like a nude color. I usually go with like a bright, not like super bright, but like a princess pink. What do you say? Red lipstick, not that dark. Snappy Michelle's color. pulled manes, not fun, but looks better. Yeah, it does look a lot better, but it takes a long time. The horses are not fancy. I actually wanted a nose ring, but Jamie don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a belly ring instead. <laughs> yes. Do, do a makeup, makeup video. Videos. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so oh boy. Macy's guilty obsession is watching makeup hey, tutorials. I love watching makeup she tutorials. She loves makeup <laughs> tutorials. A nude color? Yeah, that's pretty. 
You like darker lipstick, Brittany? And nude colors, yeah. I usually go for like a like a princess pink, don't you think? You got flour all <laughs> over me. What happened? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> The floors, I what guess. happened? <laughs> no pink. Oh, you don't like pink? Burgundy with a light color over top. Yeah, that's really pretty. Can you pop if people saw DIY bases for those who don't sew? You just add your leather. Yeah. See, that's what uh, that's what my brother did, and that was actually worked out really well. And it was fun for them to crystal and stuff. Kind of gave them something to do. Yeah. We'd love to be able to go to Joanne's um, now and buy more crystal and stuff. Oh, my you do you watch Ray? Ray, Ray, Hope. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm going to look them up though, trust me. I watch it every night for a but I watch makeup videos. See, she watches like... Like, I can't apply makeup though. Like, I super, can't. super excessive makeup tutorials. Like, <laughs> like, these girls are getting their lips injected and all sorts of stuff. Well, it's just, it's just so interesting to me to like, watch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> a video on my horse show makeup. To be honest, I don't really, I don't really have a routine, do I? No, no. Macy's not a big makeup wearer. She yeah. doesn't wear much makeup at all. But, usually for the horse shows, I can do one. It'd yeah, be that'd be fun. It'd be really fun. You could record it for me. I haven't yeah. figured out how to do my eyebrows or anything like that. <laughs> She's got two new subscribers. Thank you so much, Pam. Thank That's you. awesome. That is awesome. We are... She, she does unique makeup. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So <laughs> oh I watched this girl who does unique. No, unique. <laughs> She's so excited. I'm so to excited. Talk. I watched that girl. I haven't actually bought the makeup from Unique, but it looks good. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I watched, I try to think what her name is. Beauty by Chandel. Beauty by Chandel. Yeah. Oh no. I, I watched her because it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is a guilty pleasure. I do, I do like, 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 I like the, like the stick foundation from Unique. <laughs> yeah, see, eyebrow sucks too. Yeah, I haven't figured out how to do uh, eyebrows. Mm -hmm. I'm really bad at them. Yep. One time I was like, oh, I'll just um, try them. And then I walked out and they were like yeah. super dark. It was bad. It was real yeah. bad. Wash Dawn's It's great makeup. Oh, yeah. I'll have to wash up for sure. Question for Macy. How are you always wearing white at the bar without getting dirty? <laughs> Your talent. <laughs> um, that is a I skill right there. My mom is like, say. my mom, like, we wore white all the time. You've never seen someone go through as much spray and wash as those guys, though. No, like, my mom. Everything gets spray and washed. Yeah, my They're mom wears a lot of white, so she taught me a lot of like tips and tricks <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah. And then just going home and spraying washing everything. <laughs> uh, Casey Leaguer. Oh, that's an old one. Casey Leaguer offspring. Um, like I'm a big leaguer. All those guys. Um, that's uh, that's an old one. About we went from yeah. like unique makeup. To Daniel's like... asked that twice. I missed it the first time. Um, yeah, that's, that's tricky. What is? I don't, I actually don't know much about the Casey Leaguers. I had a, I had a mare named, uh, Face It I'm Pretty that was a face of Big Leaguer. And that was just cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cookie dough. You want to try it? Is yeah. it good? I like the cookie dough. I'm trying to see if I want to add more flour to this. Does it look good? You guys want to see what I'm working on? <laughs> look at it. It looks much better now. It's a lot thicker. I mean, it tastes good. It tastes really good. Was it good? Yeah. It smells delicious. Do you have other <laughs> clinic hose washer wipe? Oh yeah, I do have other people <laughs> when I'm at clinics <laughs> wash my clothes for me. Because <laughs> I had a, I wore a white coat to a clinic. I don't know what happened. What happened? Was it muddy outside? And like... I, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. It was amazingly dusty. Oh yeah, and then my... <laughs> everything, everything was covered in dirt and, and dust. And then my white coat was like a tan color. So Bonnie washed it for me, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's getting better, Dawn. I think I'm going to add a little bit more flour to it, and then <laughs> I should be good. I'll show the recipe. This is a recipe off Yumly. Yeah. Um, it's Here, like I'll get soft it. batch. Um, it was weird. Put it in the chat. Just link Where it in the chat. My phone? I don't know. Oh, it's okay. Do you think Just... I should add more flour to it? No. no. I still have Seems a lot more flour left. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, use what the recipe calls for. <laughs> Okay, so can one of you guys do me a favor? Are we, are you guys able to go to horsetraining.live right now? Can you go to horsetraining.live? Have to go burst some foals? Oh my gosh. Nice. That's awesome. You're so lucky. Aw, that's awesome. 
should look like. <laughs> Sadie says she doesn't want the recipe chef to stir as long as you do. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Usually Jeremy stirs this really long for me, so. <laughs> this is me. Well, okay, it doesn't have to be like this if you had a kitchen aid, Jeremy. <laughs> I have a kitchen maid. <laughs> you are perfect. terrible. <laughs> Usually he stirs this for me, but could you just stir it for just a second? Works. Yes. Cool. Awesome. So that's, uh, we have that site also should be live the same time. Um, so that's, uh, that's another site that we want to send to people. I don't think I'm ever going to recover from all this flour. <laughs> no, just Question for you, Macy. What is your favorite class to show? Ooh. Works, looks like Life Eat, awesome. Okay, so when I was younger, I showed like every single class there was. Your mic's in my way. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I can move this. And you I would always like, class, so. I'd always cry and like, I would always be super nervous. I've always hated showmanship and I don't know why. I don't know why I've always hated showmanship. I don't really like that being like that close to the judge. And <laughs> you, I don't, no, no, you hate being on the ground with horses. I hate being on the ground. Like, if you guys ever see me, I, I <laughs> do not no, walk horses. They saw you. <laughs> I saw you yesterday bail on Marley. I'm terrified. <laughs> they, saw, they saw all of it. So, yeah, I don't walk horses. I hate walking horses. Like, okay, I've been riding horses ever since I was five years old, and I have never been bucked off. So, like, let's knock on wood here. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been bucked off. But my favorite class to show, I've never been able to show Western riding, so I, I would love to try that. But for sure, it'd be Western pleasure, for sure. I'm not a huge pattern girl. I'm always afraid. I get... I'm always afraid I'm gonna like yeah. forget the pattern or and I'm not I don't really like being like that like you know <laughs> this is not edgy enough no I'm not edgy you're enough. not gritty enough I like to just you're go too, around and too gentle yeah I like to just kind of relax and go around you know and I just let's I'd love to try Hunter I'd love to have a big Hunter horse Jimmy what's your favorite your favorite class to showmanship no I I really like the showmanship I like any pattern class he serves for a second <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get sweaty I like any pattern class um. I'm a huge fan of the horsemanship, um, big fan of the showmanship. We've had um, had a lot of success in the horsemanship and stuff, but you your other hand. I, I'm not going to be able to do this. No. i got to like stand up to do this. Well, just take over for a second. Well, here, you sit down then. <laughs> we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, so I like I like any pattern class, really. Macy likes to walk for hours. Do you like to walk for hours? <laughs> if there was a walk-walk class, Macy would win it. Do you guys ever get bad nerves for shows? Um, okay, so when I was younger, like I said, like if Jeremy was to make me do showmanship, oh my gosh. That She'd would, be super nervous. I would be so nervous. Like that's the one class where I like get really nervous. But otherwise, do I get nervous, do you think? You get nervous like the night before. So it's not it's not the day of. Macy is rock solid the day of. It's like the nights leading up to it, she's a mess. Like I never showed at the Congress before and I had to show uh Peanut, I mean not Peanut. Marley. I showed Marley, and I it was a, she was a two year old at the time, and like I was calm as I yeah, you were just super relaxed. I was really excited. Very good, and it, like so the biggest thing for you guys when you're uh, a wooden spoon, yeah, good point. Okay, <laughs> no, I tried wooden spoons and I won't ever use them again. Makes you ruin spoon. because so I, had a, them. I had a problem. wooden spoon and I washed it with soap. This is getting way off track, but I washed it with soap, and then I made mac and cheese, <laughs> and my mac and cheese had bubbles. It was so, there was bubbles coming over the top, and I was like, Jeremy, come here. <laughs> you only, I you only ate one, one thing of bubbly. One batch of bubbly mac and cheese. Jeremy's like, it's just the water, you're fine. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I ate it. <laughs> ate it. I was like, I probably ate Dawn dish soap. Yeah. So much. then, so this then, is I, yeah, so then I made another batch of mac and cheese the next day. And I was like, Jeremy, this is soap. And then you made pasta that night. And it was, he, you even admitted it was soap. Yeah. Yeah. You let them soak a little long. Yeah. It's a good point. You might get to. Never leave a wooden spoon soaking in the water. Yeah. I know. Well, you I did, learn, I did it. leave it in the, uh, in the I didn't put it. I was like, Jeremy, I'm going to fill the sink up. <laughs> I'm going to put the wooden spoon in the sink. Because the soap needs to get out of the spoon. So I ended up just throwing away and got new ones. But um, anyways, back to like our nerves and stuff. Yeah, I usually get nervous the night before because I'm always so afraid like my horse isn't ready. But I've gotten a lot better with that. It but helped it, because... Like having your horse be ready is super important, right? So there's a lot of people that are nervous to go show and they probably should be. <laughs> you know, like 
yeah. your horses, a lot of the horses are just not ready to go show. So that's why we're so particular at home about the way our horse is doing things and the way that they um, respond to us because otherwise, like your horse is most likely gonna run away. Like yeah. if they're not balanced and comfortable, it's really hard to go show. I never was nervous showing Marley after I showed her the first time, or even when I showed her the first time, because she was always like, I know you guys saw the video yesterday, but she was really, she's really good when you ride her, and she was always super solid, and she never once like tricked us or anything like that. Yes. So that was, Very honest. so I did like showing her. I'm a little nervous to show Peanut because she has a lot more of like, she's a, a little more, she has a lot of engine, and Marley was like one you had to like, like you had to wear like, Big spurs with her because she was so like lazy You're and dull. Her on like, all the time. My foot was like, I would like get leg cramps at the end of like when I had to go into the finals, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I can't go another round. Mm -hmm. But I did like that. That's why I'm really excited for her baby because I want another one like that. Yeah. Peanut's a little bit like, you press the gas and you're like, oh, okay, <laughs> like, let's just get down the rail. Sometimes, if, like, Peanut, the big thing with Peanut, um, in, so like, you guys don't get to see me give Macy lessons on Peanut. But Macy and Peanut do not get along. <laughs> no, we don't get so along. So what we're working on with Macy is getting her to understand how much pressure she needs to keep on Peanut all the time to keep yeah. her around. Because if you don't keep her around, she's going to turn her head upside down and she's going to leave. Yeah. So it's trying to get connected to that horse. So there's a lot of work back and forth between the two of us. I'm trying to make her easier to ride, but we're going to have to work with Macy and her to learn how to get along with that kind of horse too. Because it's vastly different than Marley. Yeah, like I rode her like two days ago. And I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> well, I yeah. like, the difference is like, I like one that's like super dull and like one that you can kind of dump on a little bit and like you have to push on like kiss and like, let's go, let's go. So with Peanut, it's been, it's been a struggle for me. I'll have to do a video of you guys. Yeah, like, we could do a live lesson. It'd be really interesting. It's really interesting. We but... could watch. If Mace <laughs> doesn't quit on me and throw the reins at me. I've never done that. <laughs> happened one time. That was when I first came to you. You made me ride this horse that I could not get around. <laughs> so mad. Um, but yeah, so that that was probably the hardest thing. And that's why I'm probably a little nervous to show Peanut. So. Yes. Yes. That's why we have not had Macy in the show pain. And I don't particularly like the show. Like, I'm not a... I would much rather be in the stands coaching and watching that horse go and kind I of come up showing. with a game plan of what we're going to do next rather than, um, like, showing it myself. So, I think I'm more valuable on the rail. I suck at the rail. He's really good at the rail. Yeah. And was like, <laughs> <laughs> looks great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My mare gets crabby at the shows sometimes. She has personal space issues. Ooh, yeah, that's that'll definitely make you nervous in the pen, right? Um, <clears throat> earplugs will help. Um, earplugs help, yeah. Otherwise, you're going to have to, like, figure out why it is she's getting upset. And I've had a couple mares like that. Um, figure out what is it she's upset about. Is she nervous about a horse coming around, or is she trying to be dominant, right? Like, um, those are those two very different things. If my horse is nervous, I'm going to get her in some traffic and I'm going to just kind of like reassure her and pet her and stuff. Um, sometimes ponying will work, but uh, that's a tough one. I mean, if you watch the trainer's bloopers in that online horse show deal, there's a lot of horses kicking out of other horses, right? Yeah. It's, it's just part of the deal. Um, Trying to get your energy level managed so she's not super fresh and then really just putting her where she can succeed, right? right. If you're cramming her on the rail and there's a bunch of people passing you, you're going to have a harder time for that class. So you might want to move off the rail and get um, get opened up a little bit because otherwise you have a hard time. Right. How about perfect prep? I've never used perfect prep. Perfect prep. Um, so perfect prep, I don't use it. Um, you, I use the active ingredient. So if I'm going to try to tire one out through chemical means, right, I would just rather give them um, the thiamine, which is the <clears throat> active ingredient. So, and it doesn't do a whole lot for you. It kind of like... It's like lunging an extra 10 minutes. Yeah. Right? So I would I would probably just do that instead rather than buy the perfect prep. Because I, I don't want, I don't, honestly, I don't use a lot of that stuff. Like most of the time, if I have to lunge 15 more minutes, I'll just lunge 15 more minutes. Yeah. Right? I don't like using all that stuff. How did that go on Marley? Oh, sad. <laughs> yeah. I had to pull myself together before the video because <laughs> I was so um, sad. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, she wasn't in full. So um, they're going to come back Tuesday, see if she's cycling again and then hopefully because this is kind of our last chance like because we don't want to have a super late baby um especially if, if we want to show them as a two-year-old we want them to yeah. be a strong yeah. baby so um yeah. so i'm hoping that we can get her in fall i always have to wait till, always till next year yeah oh, that would not be good. <laughs> yes dawn regimate regimate's a big one so and regimate for geldings too don't rule out geldings yeah that was weird i never heard of that before yep if you have a gelding that's like kind of spooky or flighty um 
or something like that, like giving him some regumate will tone him down. Uh, the horse, he's a hot flirt, or I'm a hot flirt, or whatever what was his name, he's a hot flirt. He's a hot flirt, I think. I showed him regumate, because he was kind of edgy and kind of tight, so I gave him regumate, and that helped a lot. Um, but regumate for your mares also, and then what we did with Marley last year, or the last year we showed her, two years ago, I guess now, yeah, two um, years is we gave her the weekly shot of regumate, and that worked really well. Yeah. What are your thoughts on supplements and injections? I'm going to go put the chocolate chips in. Yeah. Um, injections, very good. Got to use them, right? Um, these are athletes, and they're going to have to, uh, they're going to have to work. But, um, and we just want them to be as comfortable as possible. So, like, when I go to the horse shows, all my horses get butyr, banamine. Um, we want them feeling really good. And, I mean, hauling is hard on your horses, right? So, trying to get them comfortable, that's tough. you got to keep them comfortable. I'm all tangled up here with my headset. But, and then supplements, um, I have seen firsthand how good like Adequan and Legend can be for your horse. Um, that stuff is really good, but um, uh, supplements as far as like, like a lot of that stuff, like I don't believe in Mare Magic or anything like that. I don't like any of that stuff. Um, so I would rather have, um, joint supplements are really good, really good. Adequan, Legend, uh, what are the other ones? Yeah, any like MSM chondroitin type stuff, really good. How many days ahead do I try to hip? I feel like you hit the enter button too fast there, buddy. <laughs> uh, Trina bought Marley's half brother. Did you I get a picture? She got the picture, so I have to look at it right now. How's baby Franco? Yeah, baby Franco. Oh, That'd be a good so idea, cute. giving Macy a lesson. Be good. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's adorable. Oh. Oh shoot, he's a, so cute. Look at if you guys can see him. This is Marley's half brother that Trina has and she's in Canada. Yep, yep. Oh, so cute. How many days had you tried to haul into a show to help them recover? Um, I wanna be there at least, at least one full day ahead if I can. Um, honestly, like for us getting in there an evening before having a full day to prep and then a show is great, right? Yeah. Like. That's how I know like we should be on our A game that weekend. And I try to pick shows that are like that, right? I hate like getting to shows Friday night, trying to get your horse ready and then go show on Saturday. That's that's really hard to do. So I would much rather have like get there Friday night, take all day Saturday to prep and then show it Sunday. So if you have a split combined show, that works really well. Yeah, I agree yep. with that. And like, like for us, when we pick shows to go to, I'm not picking shows that we gotta show out of the stall, right? I don't know how it is for you guys, like when you go to MSU and stuff, um, like by us, the main show pen is MSU and it's just, it's too hard to show there. Like if you don't have, which, what's that? You just sit somewhere. <laughs> oh, you just sit somewhere. You can bring a chair. <laughs> um, the main show pen is MSU and it's really hard to show there. Super hard to show there. Cause you got like, there's no warm up area. It's no covered area. So if it's raining or it's windy or it's nasty, you just can't prep your horse. So to me, that's worthless. Most of the shows that we go to are gonna be prepped for bigger shows. Like we're not gonna to go to a show um, and try to show off the stall. It doesn't just think No, good. I don't like doing that. <laughs> Hangs or flaps his lower lip and the chain is tight. Usually when I see horses like get funky with their mouth, they're not very light off the chain. They're not coming forward off the chain very good. Uh -huh. I don't ride on Friday night for a weekend show, just lunch and let them rest. Yeah, so that's a good point, Don. Like water. usually, if I could get there like on a Thursday, I'm gonna just settle in. Like if, it, if I had to get there Friday, I'm gonna get there Friday at noon. I'm gonna let them settle in, maybe lunge them. And then I don't let my clients ride Friday night. No. Do not let my clients ride Friday I night. I don't even get to ride Friday night. <laughs> Most of the time clients are gonna be, or people are gonna be super nervous on the night before the show. And you can't get hung up on your horse's legs the night before. Right. Because you gotta remember they hauled all day, like they're exhausted, they're tired. You can't get hung up on what they look like the night before. Because if you, you start thinking that way, you're going to you're gonna beat them up and override them Friday night. Yeah, plus they get really nervous, and that makes me really nervous. So I do better if I lunge them, and if you, he can't ride my horse or whatever, just lunging him and putting him away, and then trying yep. again tomorrow. Because, I mean, it's a new place. You're nervous, they're nervous, yeah, their horse legs is nervous. hurt. I mean, it's, it's all terrifying. Your, your goal on Friday night should really only be get that horse comfortable in the pen. Mm -hmm. Like, don't try to... Um, don't try to make them better legged. If you're still at the if you're at the horse show trying to make your horse better legged, you're not ready to show anyway. Yeah. So there's no pressure. 
right? Like think about it that way. There's, you're under no obligation, no pressure to go show if, um, if you're still trying to put it together night before. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know yep. if you would do that. Yep. You ever done groundwork with lots of direction changes, moving their feet into the sun size to help excite those? So, um, yeah, so I try to, like when I have young horses, I try to do more one direction stuff um, because I don't think that mixing it up and going lots of different directions is good for a horse's mind. I don't think they can sort that out. But what I will do is like, you're, you're absolutely right, give them thinking instead of reacting, but we wanna give them a job that they can understand. And I think if you're changing directions a lot, you're having a hard time doing that. Oh, that's a big one. The Can fixing you, horse? Yeah. yeah. So depends on which way they're curling it, right? So if you think, if he's curling it, yeah, yeah, if he's curling it this way towards you, he's probably either leaking with this shoulder forward because he's been over shanked to stay back because he had too much forward to begin with. If he's curling it the other way, Friday night fight night. I love it. <laughs> so if he's curling the other way, then he's not coming forward off the chain. So either way, your fix is gonna be more forward. You just have to get it lined up. So I actually do a lot of stopping, walking backwards, and then walking forward with that. If that helps, Michael. Yeah, but we'll cover that. That's a good one for a show. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. I'm trying to think who does that. Call it Friday Night Fight Night. I love that. We have a lot of young horses yeah. for showmanship. Yeah, we have a lot of green horses. Dubs, I, I, Dubs I don't and know Charlie if Dubs are about. probably the only ones that are like, that like show showmanship. Yeah, right? so I haven't done showmanship with Charlie yet. Um, so that would actually be kind of a fun video as if I just get him out green and kind of figure out what he does and doesn't do yeah. and how we fix it. You're posting your show schedule for possible meet and greets. Oh, that'd be so much fun. That'd be if awesome. ever see us, please come say hi. That would be awesome. When the show started again. Yeah, who even knows? It was really fun. We started. went to the, uh, the level one championship two years ago. Like when we first started doing the live videos on Facebook and a bunch of ladies came up to us and we're like, oh my God, it's yeah, you guys. It was, like, like, you it was so cool. Them. It was so much so fun. Cool. Um, we usually don't show a lot of shows. Yep. But, um. Uh, I miss showing because we didn't show last year. Nope, didn't show anything last year. I know, Not I, one I, single I show. I didn't feel ready. I mean, like Jeremy Pye could go show peanut right now, and you do fine. Yeah, I could trick her around. Yeah, but yep. I don't. But I'm not feel, interested in that. And like, I don't feel ready showing yet. So, mm -hmm. but I do want to show this year. So we're hoping that maybe for the Congress is like available. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we like can maybe show there. Tricking one around isn't good, right? Like if you're doing that, you're going out there and. Um, you're setting the tone for that horse's entire show career, right? If that horse has not been shown, I think that when you take um, a young horse and you show them for the first time, you kind of lock them in, Yeah. right? Like I've always taken young horses and, and shown them for the first time. And then I feel like when I ride them, then like the week or months after that, that they're like solid locked in right there. The problem with that is if that horse isn't locked in where I like it, I'm locking them in and I got to fix it. Right. You know, so. Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite show? Ooh. Okay. I love. Um, Easy one. Oh, yours is the kind. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I do love the Buckeye. That was really fun. Yeah. That, that was, was fun. a blast. That was so Showing there is really fun. I love showing there. Awesome. I love how they have like the trailers across. I love the sand. It's so pretty. I love the big fans and stuff. It's just a really nice facility. I really like it. That's in Wilmington. But the Congress yep. is a lot of fun. Yep, that's Wilmington, Ohio. That's the world of questions. The only bad thing about the Congress is that your feet hurt so bad. <laughs> you have to get a golf cart. Uh, no, and, but and you know what we need? A hoverboard. No. Oh, jeez, yeah. Um, my advice to Macy when she went to the Congress was change the tennis shoes as much as possible. Yeah, I got get like, out of your boots. Like the shin splints or whatever. Yep. We ended up wrapping my <laughs> legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, funny. like um, the Congress is by far my favorite What's show. What's your guys' favorite I show? I love the atmosphere. I love everything about it. Do you guys mostly have paints or quarters? Tis for to get frustrated being stalled away from home. Ask for a big hunter style. Like, okay, so that's a good one. Um, yeah, food. What we do with our horses, we try to, you got to try to keep. Um, your shows and your home as similar as possible. So what we do is when we work horses, um, we always tie them up afterwards, right? I'll, I will, my number one rule, I'm never gonna tie a horse up before I work it. That's not gonna happen at all, oh, yeah. right? Like a lot of people like to tie them up, saddle them, tie them up, leave them tied to the wall until they get them out to work them. I will not tie a horse before I work it. I'm gonna work that, that horse and then um, come back and let him get tied up and think about stuff. Yeah, I don't think and it's usually, time up in the beginning because usually they kind of energy and they're excited and yeah. Usually, what happens is that horse will like take a breath and settle down, mm -hmm. and then like they'll learn to relax on the tie then, 
versus if you time beforehand, they get kind of nervous. Yeah. Right. So, and then you can use that when you go to the horse show. You can time up at the horse show, and they learn to just fall asleep because they're like, "Oh, I know this deal." Yeah. Now that's a bit harder for you amateur guys that come home after work. Yeah, that's Because you can't tie your horse for a couple hours, so that's kind of just an advantage that a, a trainer has. A barn coming I from think a program. Some other things you could do. Corporate challenge. I've never been. Never been to the corporate challenge in Minnesota. Wow, I've never been. Color breed I know. Congress. Wasn't, didn't Kim go there all the time? Yeah. Yeah, she went there all the time. Yep. 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 Um, Color breed Congress. I went to it once. I've never been um, to Color breed Congress. Long time ago. Go. Is it still? It's not still in. Uh, it's still. It's in Tulsa. Kansas. In when Tulsa. I went to it, it was in Kansas. It's in Tulsa now, I think. Maybe it was the Paint Horse Congress. I don't remember which. It was a long time ago. Winona, I've been there once. That's a beautiful place. That's like, it's got the big wooden thing behind, right? That's a really pretty place to show. And they have like a restaurant there or something. It's really cool. Congress shopping and food, yeah. I yeah. know, I do love the it. The thing about the Congress, like, the fact that you can go out and watch, and not so much anymore, I guess less now. And I don't know if it's because there's less horses there, less people there, or because there's more places to ride. But like, I can remember when I went to the Congress and it wouldn't matter what time of day it was, you could go watch an amazing horse ride. Yeah. And like it seemed like the last few years I've been there, like the show's kind of quiet. Like it eight really o'clock, it's kind of quiet. Right? Like the show's usually done around, like there was a couple nights it was done six, seven o'clock, and wasn't much going on. Yeah. What do you guys think about the moving the powers to um, Wilmington, Ohio? Or the Equestrian Center? The World Equestrian Center, yeah. That's going to be amazing. That's That'd so really much fun. better. I'm really Let them miss the grass. But the weather always sucked there. The weather is always a crap shoot. It was nice because it was, wasn't that far for us to drive, so we could ride yeah. and then go watch and then go back and ride, which yeah. was really nice. We could take all of our little tips and tricks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you uh, did you put your cookie down yeah, the fridge? Yeah, it's in the fridge oh, right now. perfect. It's soaking. <laughs> it's chilly. It's chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Tying young horses at home? Uh, necessary or no? Absolutely 100% necessary. Um, after you're done working in them. them yeah, now. after you're done working. They're super busy-minded, so you don't want to make them stand to the wall, tie. Because I think a lot of people like, that's where they pick up bad habits like pawing and like biting and like just, they need to be able to be relaxed on the tie. Yep. It wants to be like a yep. good little home for them. Yep. But I'm going to increase that gradually, right? Like the first time I tie a young horse up, I'm only going to tie him for like long. 30 minutes, right? 15, 20, 30 minutes, kind of build him up until they can be tied like our horses. You could tie them for three hours and they just kind of sleep there, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you're going to have to. And a lot of my young horses, when I start them, like when it's time to go to school, they're done going outside. Unless it's like the weekend, like a Saturday or a mm -hmm. Sunday. But like during the week, like Monday to Friday, they're in session, school's in session, you're not going outside anymore. Because I find that um, when you keep turning attention. them out, yeah, they go out and they work and they're not sure whether they should be going outside or not. And then they just kind of get to be orangutans. Yeah, but they do, get, they are able to go outside and run around and kick a little bit. Yeah. Sharon, that would be really fun. That'd be really fun. What? She said she really enjoyed our commentary on how we should be put together. So it was pissed and epic. Yeah, that'd be really fun. Ooh, our favorite work pad. Probably the Harris pads. Those are probably what we always ride in. You can't tell people that. Oh, yeah, because they don't, have they don't sell them anymore. What's that one that we got? Um, we have a couple of those pro-choice pads. Yeah, pro-choice, yep. And um, for $100, for $120, do I notice a huge difference? Yeah, do you guys like the ones that are like... The neoprene. I don't know if I like those. Yeah, for like, a, like when they get super like hot and sweaty. Like I feel like it's just like rubbed and there's like no airflow. Yeah, I feel like it rubs the hair off. Like, can you imagine having it on your back and having to run? I can't even imagine. That'd be awful. Mm -hmm. Good night, Don. Good night. Awesome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. So glad in. you're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. See, so Jasmine, the problem that I have with that is like horses are creatures of habit, right? So if you're going to tie that horse at the show and he's not tied at home, that's different. Right, and I want to keep things as as close to the same at home as I can at the show, right. because if I change things up, I might not know what horse I have. Right, like if you so here's how we work our young babies. Right, like if, if we get them pretty close to show time, I'm gonna ride that horse two three times a day for like 15 minutes, and I want to know how is that horse on the second ride? How much do I need to work on the first first ride? Right, and how much horse do I have left in the third ride? Right. Right? Because that's how my show is most likely going to go. I'm going to go warm up for 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to put him up, tie him up, get myself ready after lunch. And then I'm going to go to, uh, um, to, to go show. Right? 
And then I might make a finals or go show the horsemanship afterwards. So my horse can get like short, break, short, break. And I need to know how that horse is going to come out and handle that. And if you don't ever ride your horse two times a day at home, and then you go start riding him three times a day at the show, right. not good, right? You yeah. don't, you have no idea what kind of horse you're going to get. So more than anything, what I want is I want consistency in my horse, consistency okay. in my ride. How do you learn about horse shows? Yeah, so that's kind of the same and thing, right? Long? Like I warm up, short, short warm ups. Yeah, we usually, so we break up and then we get ready and we go to the barn or yep. the show grounds or whatever and we feed them. And usually when I feed them, I usually look for like what I want to wear and how everything's going to start. And then you go out and lunge them for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Yep. And then um, Marley, okay, she's a different type. We never warmed up. We would lunge her in the morning and then we'd get her saddle and I would go show. Like I wouldn't even like warm up or anything because she was super lazy, so she needed like I needed to say as much as I could. But I'll, usually you lunge, then we warm up a little bit, and then we go show. Mm -hmm. But we usually don't like lunge, ride, and then put them away, and then like get ready and go show. Yeah. So I think you kind of like. Yeah. Usually, usually, almost always a lunge, tie, ride afterwards. Yeah, and then go yep. show. Yep. Yeah, Jasmine. See, good, good. I'm glad that helps. Yeah, try it at home. <laughs> Riding on gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no kidding. I haven't seen. I haven't seen much you're selling for. Yeah, how much is selling for? I've got quite a few brand new ones that I bought, I stocked up on. Yeah, we do have a couple. Yeah. A couple of them we stocked up on. Status is the race weather that are great. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Rainers here like the one pad thick neoprene, but I think it makes them really hot. Yeah, that's why I feel like they get hot underneath of it. Yep. $25 for a hair's pad? Wow, that's awesome. Why don't they sell them anymore? They just quit making them. I don't know if they figured they could make enough money or what. What do you I, uh, what like um, show sales you guys showing? I'll be curious to hear that. Mm -hmm. I had a blue ribbon, and I loved it. We dyed it black, and then um, the only problem that I ran in with the blue ribbon is that it pitched me forward. Like this, I was right here, yeah. you're riding out here. Yeah, and like people would be like, sit back. I'm like, I don't know what's the wrong with me. And I watched the video, and I was like, oh my gosh, it looked terrible. So. We ended up selling that, and then we got a Harris. Mm -hmm. And I kind of sit forward just naturally. <laughs> and if Doug's, yep. if your dad's on here, <laughs> about to get a whole spiel. <laughs> yeah. But um, so that helps me like sit back a little bit more because they're a little deeper pocketed for me. Yep. If you're gonna ride in a Harris, like the Harris's sit you deep and low. Um, the blue ribbon, if you get the dowdy seat, it sits you down low, and then I feel like every seat from there kind of pitches you up further. The more you go, the further you yeah. sit. Yeah, I don't know what seat I had, but. Yep. Yeah. Calling your teeth for wrapping legs. I don't wrap anything in the trailer. No, okay, we've had like the worst trailer. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god. Yeah, true. Yeah. So we want to keep it as simple as possible. Like, hey, bungee on the road. <laughs> yep. I think the worst thing that you could have happen is like Oops. you're going down the road and that horse starts stomping and that leg wrap gets loose and then they stomp in because the leg wrap's loose and it gets all tickled up. It's like it's just a huge fear of mine. So I don't wrap anything. Um, you want to be able to have like a camera so we can like see what's going on in the horse trailer. That's what we need. I would love that. That would help me like so much. Yep. I'm 32 in youth hairs. Nice. Oh my goodness. My mom showed awesome. youth fenders for a long time. I have youth fenders too in my saddle. They're so saddle. New winger. Yep. They are super lightweight. I do like those. Yep. Harris kills my hips. Yeah. They sit wide. They do sit really wide. Yep. I love Text hand, Chavez. Yeah, I, I grew up in a Chavez. I actually had, um, and it's floating around somewhere now, there's a, a Chavez that has uh, Dale's autograph on it. It says, to Jeremy, have many great rides. Aww. So if you flip up the fender, it's like a... Uh, oh, who has it? I don't know. I sold it at a text him. Why did you ever sell that? Yeah. That's a memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a wanger, and I sold it, and my name was on it, and someone bought it. Oh, really? Remember? You sold it for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sure, I remember. Oh, that was a while ago. That was the same year I sold the set. Yeah. Sure was, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. Because I was like, I'm never going to be able to sell a saddle because my name's on it. And like, my name's spelled differently than other people's names. Like, it's M-A-C-E-Y. A lot of people are like M-A-C-Y. So I was like, I'm never going to be able to sell it. But I sold it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Circle crazy. Y for showing seats deep, deep. Yeah, that's what I found too, that they sit really deep. How about English Shadows? What English Shadows are you guys showing? What's our feed program like? A struggle. Yeah. <laughs> we don't own our own barn. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to own our own barn. Like, I would feed them like just bales of hay every day of alfalfa. Yeah, like and our they dream would, be, would like, just be roly polies. Yeah, just rabbit hay all day long, all they could eat. Oh my gosh! Yeah. But no, so we we just feed calm and easy and alfalfa grass mix hay, nothing major. 
Um, and then we give them. Um, and then the cubes. I'll we give the cubes. them all the cubes for lunch yep. because I don't like it. I hate when they're sitting in their stalls and they're not eating. Like I, I hate it. it. Makes you so sad. But our horses stick, stick their heads out of their stall, which I love. I will never have a barn that they cannot take their heads out because. Like, I sure. can't imagine, like, if I was trapped in a stall, like, if I was a horse and you guys shot me in a stall, I would be weaving. <laughs> I would be, like, crazy. <laughs> yep, yep. So, I love it that they can stick their heads out and they can see because, I mean, can you imagine being trapped up in a cage like that? That makes me so sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I like it that they can stick their heads out. I know you're not a huge fan of it, but I like it. So. Yeah. I would like it if it was, like, a little ways, but these horses are, like, out in the aisle, <laughs> touching you as you walk by. <laughs> I love it. They're so happy. I love it. So you can go by and pet their heads. Mm -hmm. Do you guys take your, like, does your horses, are your horse able to take their heads out? But see, Sarah, I think a lot of that, though, um, if your horse is using its body properly, it's going to look really good. Like, if you're building muscle in the right places, too, then it's going to look even better than it than it probably should just as far as, like, because our horses are hairy. Yeah, our horses are Like, I don't know if you guys have done a video, but they're hairy. Oh, no, Peanut, I've been working really hard. She's hairy. She's not that hairy. They're all hairy. <laughs> so, um, but the bigger thing is like, they look pretty because they got big, pretty hips. They get strong across their back. Their necks are muscled properly. Um, and I think that's a, a big part of it. You can come around and say, we'd love to have you there. Our cells have windows. And they go, oh my gosh, <laughs> see, like that's a dream of mine. <gasps> Welcome. <laughs> so, HDR close contact. What are we riding? What do you have? I have a uh, M Toulouse. A Toulouse, yeah. I haven't, I haven't rode in it since I was like fourteen. I've had several clients that have Toulouses, and I really like them. I haven't just my horses are too little. I guess I could show my Molly, but they're maybe tired, Molly. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But who knows? If she can't get pregnant, I'll probably gonna pull right back out and show her this year. <laughs> I had a dream of showing one of those, like the carbon fiber. What were those? The English styles. I wanted one so bad for a long time. Who makes those? What are you talking about? I'm gonna look up <laughs> carbon fiber English saddle. I just have no idea what you're talking about. It was like, uh, oh, wait, no. what's like the new thing? Isn't like doing different colored pants for like the hunty, or was it like the lining through the jackets? That's like the new thing. Piping through the jackets. Piping through the jackets. Yeah. Do you guys like that? CWD is a CWD um, with the carbon fiber tree or whatever. It's crazy. Move to Canada. <laughs> no Agent Orange. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My dream barn would be... It'd be white. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It'd be white. And then it would be, like, with their heads out. And I'd love it. They're like, mats going down the floor and squishy. And just bedding up to their eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I want, like, the thick, thick bedding. Like I feel, I always feel so good for the horses when they get to the I horse show too. and we bed them. Like we put ten bags of shavings in the stalls and we bed them really deep. Yep. I love it because like I love a squishy bed and I love all the blankies and the pillows. Like I can't imagine being a horse like walking into just fluffy bedding. I love it because mm -hmm. they roll and they're like, <laughs> they're so happy. <laughs> yep. Come to Australia. Come to Canada. See, we're gonna need to. Decide See, I love, how we're gonna go I love places. to come to Australia. I've never been to Australia. I, I want to just like talk to you guys. Like I wanna, I wanna have your guys' lingo. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to absorb your accent. I do, and I, I want to see the koala bears. The koalas. <laughs> I want to see a kangaroo. Yes. Oh my gosh, and like the baby kangaroos. Yeah. They're so cute. Yeah. Oh, you. She does have her jacket. Oh my gosh, and I love it. See, yeah. I think I really like those. I think it's cool. If I showed English, okay. I'd love to do, I think it'd be really cool if you had one of those for jumping. Yeah. Yeah. But and I'll be it allowed. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to jump. <laughs> I'm sure it's allowed, right? Did you already cover, you covered how to relax your neck and back. I did not cover a lot of back. And in fact, in the showmanship, we kind of just took like a broad overview of everything. Yeah. We did a lot of like your own personal space. And yep. Yep. The bugs are huge in Australia. <laughs> really? I have heard that everything tries to kill you in Australia. Like in Australia, everything can kill you. This girl in my human anatomy class. And my lab, she was from Australia, and she kept saying mate. And I was like, well, there's a lot of people that like Australian accents, so I was like, oh, maybe she's just, you know, <laughs> talking like that. But it's a real she thing. said that, like, all, everything tries to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand's better. Oh, we're going to start a riot here. <laughs> we can get the New Zealanders versus the Australians. <laughs> oh, my Here's gosh. Wow. In a spare room? Okay, Jane, let's pack your bags. <laughs> so, so, um, we can get we a had... cheap airline ticket to <laughs> Not kidding. flying right now. We're not flying. So uh, we had looked at... Um, Going to Australia, there was someone we were talking to, I forget now, um, I'd have to go back to my Facebook messages to see, 
But we were trying to set up a clinic schedule where we started in like the east coast of Australia at the top or the bottom and kind of worked our way up and around and then went to, is that how it works, to New Zealand and the Great Barrier Reef and all that. I, we were trying to set that up and we almost had it, but we need to fill like almost, almost like three whole weeks. Yeah. They said Australia is huge. It takes you a long time to get from one place to the other. So I don't know. I've never been there. I've never really, I don't have much experience with it, but, um, but you'd need like a couple days to travel in between places. Yeah. So it had to be like two and a half weeks. So we need to find people that will fill a clinic schedule. For How long of a flight was it? Is it? I don't know. From Michigan? I have no idea. And my brother went and he got like the, the first class and he got like a bed and he's like, it was such a long flight, like it was amazing. Oops. To where would you fly into? You'd fly into like, uh, like New South Wales? Is that, is that Australia? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, Sydney. Yep. One, One day? day? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, guys, I have such anxiety. <laughs> That's a 22 hour flight. I have such anxiety flying. Like, you guys have no idea. I don't know where it came from. Because I was fine for a while, wasn't I? I wouldn't be able to give a clinic when we landed. Why? Because you'd have my hand just broken from squeezing it so hard <laughs> for 22 hours straight. <laughs> 15 hours from Melbourne to LA direct. Let's just fly. I mean, let's yeah, just see, fly. that's what we talked about. Is adding New Zealand to that schedule. Yep. That would be so much fun. San Diego Zoo. Yeah, see California. Never been to California. I've never been to California either. Yeah. Do you guys like flying? Like, are you guys calm and cool? Like Jamie, <laughs> like terrifying. I was talking terrifying. to Jamie. Well, we were flying this one time, and it like, I don't know what happened, but like the plane went like this, and <laughs> it's such a bad feeling. Like you're so helpless. It's I just had to. Terrifying. I had to watch the, uh, the uh, flight attendant to know that. It was I was, okay. I was like, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I was like, if he if he looks nervous, then I'm gonna be nervous. But if he's not nervous, then I'm gonna be Jimmy, because we usually watch movies all the time to like to, like distract myself, or we usually play like crossword or something like that. And he's like, just keep watching the movie if the plane goes down. I'm like, Jimmy, you can't just do that. I told her, I said, you gotta, I gotta worry call about my mom and my dad. And... No, you gotta worry about things you can control. You can't control a plane going down. So, you know. Yes, I can. <laughs> All you, just worry about things that you can control, because otherwise, it's, you spend the whole time worrying. Oh gosh, I hate flying. <laughs> uh -huh. Been to the US five times. Hate flying. Such torture. It yeah. is torture. I don't know why. The only thing, and the Ugh. coronavirus thing has really made it like a big deal. But I remember I used to tell Macy all the time, like, the only thing I hate about flying is just breathing in the recycled air. Oh my gosh. Like, yes. you're just breathing in other people's you air. You feel like the a whole stomach off when you get off the plane. You don't feel good because you're just kind of breathing everyone's air. <laughs> if I, if I don't <laughs> travel. I will drive. See, yeah, I'm not going. Yeah. I want to drive too. Like, Let's just drive there and let's swim across the ocean <laughs> <laughs> or take a boat. I'm going to mm -hmm. take a boat than a, a plane. Yeah. And see, like the, the very first time I ever flew, I was 18 years old and oh, I, was, yeah. I was going to Iowa and I got like checked at the airport. They pulled me aside and had like pat me down. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I'd never even been away from home and I'm flying to Iowa for the first time. And then I went, I landed in Chicago and then I flew to Iowa from there. And that flight, like I'm going along and I'm like, I got my gum in because told me to chew gum because your ears are going to pop off. Oh, because your ears are going to pop off. So and I'm like, okay, like I'm chewing my gum. And I'm like, my, man, my ears are popping a lot. Like I don't remember my ears popping that much on the first flight. Like this is weird. So I'm like going along and I'm getting nervous because it's like getting hard to breathe now. And I'm like, what is happening here? Like what? I'm like, I don't understand. I'm getting nervous. All of a sudden, the lights come on. The oxygen mask dropped down. See, I would scream. <laughs> we lost cabin pressure. I had to put the oxygen mask on. People are screaming, going nuts. Like I, a second time ever on a plane. Oh, see, I see. I don't know how you fly. It's like it's going down. Again. I'm just because you gotta worry about. <laughs> see, you, like I told Jamie, I was like, they should give us parachutes because then I'll jump out of the plane and I can parachute onto the ground. <laughs> I don't want to shoot my kid because they're like, it's okay. You can use your seat for a floating device. How? You can't because if the seats floated, then you'd see f seats floating in the ocean. There's never. And there's never. In the you're in the down in the middle of the ocean with sharks, and see, this is why I hate flying. See, a no, boat like, scares me so much see, more. Like a boat, I'm I'm way better with the boat than an airplane. See, I don't swim. 
Joe no, Jeremy can't I'm swim. I'm a sinker. I'm like a mermaid, I swear. <laughs> she is, she's half fish. I am a sinker, so there's zero chance that I'm gonna float if I get in the, end up in the water. See, I'd be perfectly fine. I'd be like, just on my back, and I'd be like, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> so when we took the boat across, I think we went to Maine, and we took the boat across to go to Yarmouth. Yeah. And I was scared. I wasn't scared. I was, I was so, real nervous. I was so happy. The boat is so big. It was massive. You could grab, like, if the boat were to sink, you can grab onto something and float. It and was they scary. even had those safety rafts. <laughs> See, like, there's no, scary. there's no, like, plan B in an airplane. And the boat <laughs> is a plan B. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, there's something refreshing about knowing you're not going to walk away, isn't it? <laughs> it no, just crashes. it's not. It's over. I love saying anybody hate boats. Really, <laughs> I love boats. Sometimes. I do love boats. I love like going over the big waves and mm -hmm. Jeremy hates that. But I grew up on the water. I like being on a jet ski. You I'll do, do a jet, jet ski. ski. I'll be in on the water. I don't like to be in the water. I hate being in the water. <laughs> I love to be in the water. I love tubing, all that stuff. Jimmy hates tubing. I want to. <laughs> because I want you tube. said that you just hang on for like <laughs> Yeah, see so like the last you time know, I went tubing, I don't want to fall off. You know, okay here, I'll tell okay, this is oh, great. I, no, 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 I know no, what you're listen. supposed to do. Do you know how I saddle? You always yell at me for saddling? Okay, mm -hmm. so girls, I saddle like I pick it up and then I like, <laughs> oof, you know, like from my shoulders, I like oof, oof it up. And he's like, you gotta swing like from your arm, do you know? Yeah. So when you're tubing, it's the same thing. Like you're holding <laughs> oh. on up here, oh, but I, I hang on back here and like, and, like just relax. You know, yeah. I'm using all my muscles. Yeah. Not me, man. <laughs> I tell you what, the last time I went tubing, I, my hands, I got off the tube and they were like this, just seized up because I was holding so tight. I was like, I do not want to fall off in the water. So yeah, I understand you're supposed to dangle. But <laughs> you're I supposed could, to dangle. Do it. <laughs> or yeah, they have those seats ones you can sit on. In Canada, I did a hot dog. She wrote the hot dog. I wrote a hot dog. And that was awful. <laughs> Because the hot dog would just flip over. <laughs> like, because you know how you can like shift your weight and like skid across the water and stuff like that? Mm-mm, it's not the hot dog you can't do. <laughs> uh, Sharon, we are in Michigan. So Michigan. let me see if I can get this. Is this straight? We are over here. Is this, I think this is flipped. So we're gonna be over here. Over here. Yep. Just south of Grand Rapids. Michigan, Michiganders. You've been a Michigander our whole entire life. Yeah, yep. I've been a lot of places, but Macy has been here <laughs> and for her whole life. <laughs> this is my hometown. These yes. are my roots. <laughs> yes. They were trying to kill her on that. They, I don't understand why. I think it's you. You're telling them to. No. They they desperately wanted to see you fall off. And they did. They got me off. <laughs> but he, it wasn't fair though, because he knew once he got you like rocked up on yeah, the weight. Yeah, rocked up to the weight. Because like, like you the take hot the hot dog, dog up on the weight. Yeah, it had like over. the bun and then the hot dog, you know. <laughs> so the bun would just flip over. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness, that's fun. Oh, I'm not getting much work done on the stream here. No, you're talking too. I'm having too much fun talking. Do Cumberland you know? Midland, Midland, Michigan. Uh, my dad lives in Midland, actually. Yeah, his dad lives I'm in Midland, Midland quite a bit. I live in Michigan for a minutes from the bridge. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, really? I got to say, have you been to Mackinac Island before? Dear me. You took me there. Had you been to Mackinac <laughs> Island <laughs> before I took you? Had you ever been there? No. No, oh, yeah, so I took Macy to Mackinac Island. <laughs> Once. <laughs> Last year. And that was really cool. She'd never been up there. We did Apparently. tandem biking, and it was so much fun. Oh, yeah, it was so much fun. I loved it. <laughs> we, we tandem bike. It was like super hot, and I made him go up this huge hill, and he was drenched his booty and I, his back. I biked, and Macy got carried behind me. <laughs> it was nice. Mm -hmm. It was really yeah, nice. Yeah, it was super nice. Next time I wanted to like And she was bridge. like, well, take me through the city. I was like, have you been through the city? Like, Mackinac City is like this. <laughs> Like, there's no way I'm be able to bike up and down all those giant hills just carrying you behind me. <laughs> it was really fun though. We got to see like the blacksmiths and then we got to see like um the fort and like the nurses and like what you had to do. Like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine like being wounded and like having those like big needles. She's rusty at me. saws, like it wasn't It was yeah. insane. Like I'm so thankful for what we have today. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was terrifying. Been to your nap is flu from Winnipeg. Oh wow! State, wow! You saw like all of it. That's crazy. That's awesome. 
That's awesome. Okay, so Ashley, I was just in Gaylord um, this last week mm -hmm. um, doing some dentistry, and it's beautiful up there. I was telling Macy, like, we it's were in, where was I? Exactly, let me look. So I'm, not, I'm not just talking a bunch of smack here. <laughs> um, survival rates are much yeah, lower. Yeah, I mean, I can't even imagine. Yeah. Ugh. Makes me sad. Okay, so I love it up in Gaylord. Gaylord, Grayling, all that stuff. So pretty up there. I was in. We went to Petoskey. We went to um, up through Charlevoix, Petoskey. Went up through uh, Harbor Springs, and then we got engaged. Yeah, we got engaged yeah, um, up there. Going up in Harbor mountains. Springs. Yep, so pretty up there. Oh my gosh, Hudsonville? That's where I wow. live. That's where Macy lives. That's where I grew Snowing up. Right oh no. Florida girl. Oh my yeah. gosh, I love Florida. I'd love to move to Florida. Okay, 12 you... months out of the year. See, no, not really though, because you can ride outside in Florida for like five months, Jimmy, four months I out of the year. I love the warm weather. No. Yes. There's zero chance I'm riding I outside in July I and August. I go to Florida, Florida all the time. In July and August? Mm hmm. I would melt. <laughs> I would be a puddle. No, that. Yeah. Can I, <laughs> I couldn't do that. I could winter in. Florida in summer in Michigan, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. We need to come for a clinic and get it. Midland Fairgrounds are really nice. H had they made any progress on the, the showgrounds? I know they were looking to do a huge upgrade up there, but then I heard it got stalled out. They didn't raise enough money and they were trying to do another round or something. Yeah. I don't know if they made it. Tell us about the engagement. Aww. Well. Well. <laughs> do you want to tell them to Go ahead. Okay, so the, we went up to Traverse City mm -hmm. and we stayed at the. Um, Grand Traverse Resort. Yep. yep. And then that morning we got up and we went to um, Boyne Highlands. Yeah, hold on. I'll put links in the chat for all that stuff so they can see the Canadian friends. Yeah. We went to Boyne Highlands, which is like a huge ski resort because um, in Michigan, like it's really, I mean, there's no like big mountains, right? It's just really hilly, like big hills. <laughs> right. There's not like a mountain. Yeah, there's so never a mountain. <clears throat> we went to um, Boyne Highlands and we ski, I ski and he snowboards. Um, I tried snowboarding and that went terrible. But anyway, so we were skiing and stuff, and then um, he was like, "Let's look for like a pretty scenery for a picture." I was like, "Oh, okay." Mm -hmm. So we're like skiing around, looking, and we found this spot. It overlooked like the the bay, yep. which was it was you're like on top of like the mountain, and then there was the bay behind you, and it was beautiful. Yes, it was so pretty. So he was like, "We'll come back here later and take a picture there because we always take pictures when we go skiing." Mm -hmm. So then. We went down the like the mountain. We were coming up by the chairlift, and the guy was like, "This is the last round. Like you can go one more, one more time up, yep. and then that run was gonna shut down." <clears throat> so he was like freaking out. Okay, it was really funny. He was like, <laughs> "I'll tell my side of the story after you." <laughs> okay, I'll just tell him about, and then we can tell you guys the yeah. funniest stuff that yeah. happened. Okay. So, anyways, he was like freaking out. So I was like, I was like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we get up to the top, and I was like, "Let's just go take a picture right now. It's gonna close." And he was like. Oh, uh, okay. He's like, well, do you think we can get back up here? I was like, I was like, I don't, I don't know. And he was like, well, let's just take a picture now. So we're sitting there, and he's like, he's standing right there, and he's like trying to figure out the perfect lighting. I'm like, okay, I guess, I guess this is like a big deal. <laughs> so anyways, this girl comes up to us. She's like, would you like to take a picture for you? And Jamie's like, uh, yeah. Like he was kind of being weird about it. I was like, okay. So we took a picture, and then she's like, oh, blah blah, blah. and she like went down the hill. And then he kept looking at it and looking at it. I'm like, well, do you not like it? Like, <laughs> is it not, like, good? And he's like, no. So then another girl asked, and he was like, no, I don't need to take my picture. And I was like, okay, whatever. So then this guy asked, and this guy was like, do I want me to take a picture? And Jimmy was like, yeah. So <clears> then he, like, took the phone, and he, like, gave the phone to the guy, and he changed it to video. And then he proposed to me, and it mm -hmm. was like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I was so nervous, like I had ski poles in my hands, <laughs> and I like just dropped them and they hit <laughs> and they like <laughs> fell down. <laughs> and then Jimmy said he needed the guy to take the video because the girls would have been like, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they would have been shaking and tossing the bone. Yeah, yeah. But it was really cute. And then the mm -hmm. ski the ski patrols came down and we shut the whole mountain down. And then they um, they must have announced it over the intercom we were going down like the the mountain because they had like champagne and balloons and. Yeah. It was, it was so much yep. fun. <laughs> yep. Um, so then, uh, so was I nervous to propose? Mm, I wasn't so much nervous to propose as I, I wasn't sure 
like I wanted to be memorable. Like I wanted to be perfect. <laughs> so I had so many ideas of different things I wanted to do and I couldn't really decide on just one. <laughs> so it was really hard for me to like, like this is the, this is it. Like yeah. this is the moment. <laughs> that was probably the hardest thing for me. It wasn't like, it wasn't nervous to propose. I was just nervous that I wanted to be perfect. Yeah. Because, okay, so I'll tell my side. So um, I actually had like, like I said, like four different plans to uh, have this proposal, right? And they all fell through. Yeah. Every one of them fell through. Like I would invite her somewhere and I'd be like, okay, we're gonna do it here. We're gonna have this one. The weather would be terrible. I was gonna have the photographer come to the barn and we were yeah, gonna do like- guys, Yeah, they find her. Cause we're gonna have like a huge- Yeah, we're gonna have Shana. Yeah. We watched the videos. We're gonna have Shana come up um, and take pictures. And I was like, oh, we could have Shana like, while she's taking pictures, I can walk her and Peanut back and we can have like a little setup right there and she can, I can propose right there. <laughs> and then it'll all be like professionally like photographed and everything. And um, it just didn't work. Like the weather, it rained. There was no snow. It was raining. Yeah, it was not. Nothing. It was 45 degrees in mud. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's not gonna work. So then I was like, oh, you know what? Like we'll go downtown Grand Rapids. There's a spot down there that we're, is super pretty. Yeah, there was like Christmas lights <clears throat> up and it was really pretty. Yeah, super pretty. And so I was like, we oh, went there. this will be perfect. Yeah. So we went there. They took the little Christmas lights down <laughs> that day. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. That's not gonna work. So I had ordered. I remember being like, why not? He's like, just stand there. I'm taking pictures of you. Cause I was like, yeah. Okay, I guess I have some pictures. And I'm like freezing my butt off. And he's like, just keep smiling. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Because I'm like, I was going to take some night shots, right? But they were going to have the lights above us. And the um, the the camera <laughs> couldn't pick up. It was way too dark with the lights off. Because it was like all lights above, like yeah, hanging it down. Really it's super pretty between two big buildings. There's all like this tree lined street and stuff. And it's going to be so pretty. But they took the lights down. So that didn't work. So then I finally was like, all right, you know what? Like it's it's finally nice weather. Yeah. It was the last. It was really the last time we had snow. Yeah, and like last time we go skiing. <laughs> yep. And um, I had this plan. I was gonna do. Um, I was gonna propose on February second, twenty twenty. So it's gonna be o two o two twenty twenty. Yeah. Which would have been the same like when you flip it back and forth, right? <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a cool day to get engaged, right? Yeah. But that day didn't work out. Mm -mm. So I had all these plans that never worked. So then I was like, finally, it was leap. <laughs> like, we finally got this nice break of weather. I was like, you know what? We're gonna take off. Like I canceled all my lessons for the weekend. I was like, yeah, he's we're like, going we're going. Home. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Yep. <laughs> sure. Last day of snow, it was like 32 degrees and beautiful weather. Yeah, it's really pretty. Ended up being an amazing weekend. And then, uh, so I was like, oh, like this is special too. It's like leap day. Mm -hmm. It is really cool. I was like, oh, well, that never comes around, right? So leap day in 2020, that's a cool day too. So um, we had, I had taken the ring I wasn't sure when I was going to propose, right? So I've, I've been carting this ring around forever. <laughs> forever. It's coming with me everywhere I've gone. <laughs> Took the ring. I went out and got Starbucks that morning for us. Came back and I had the, the ring in my sock. And I was huh, like, do I, I do, do it back like at the resort room or not? I didn't know. I had this dream like I was like, well, what if I like wrote on the window, like, will you marry me? So when she opened the windows to look at the bay, yeah. like it would be on the window because I knew it would be foggy, right? Yeah. And I was like, no, that's just not going to work. Like, I, could, I could do better, right? <laughs> So, um, we went up, went up to the mountain and I saw the spot that was overlooking the bay. It was really funny though because he was like, he had it in his coat pocket yeah. and he fell off the chairlift <laughs> and he was like scrambling. Like I've never seen someone scramble so fast. I'm like, why are you, what, what is wrong? I was like, is it crushing you? But yeah. he had like the ring in his front pocket <laughs> and now I know why you were doing that. Oh, I've never saw my life flash from my eyes so fast. <laughs> it was so Like funny. my, the chairlifts there in Boyne. Oh, yeah, um, this Point is Highlands, tough. they're super like close to the ground. Well, I snowboard, it's so, like my board, my boot would get caught underneath the chair, and then you're just like getting run over. Yeah. So I'm like dog <laughs> paddling, like army crawling lift. for dear life. And then when you get off like the chairlift, the chairs come over top of you, and people <laughs> would like get like boom. smacked in the head. Yeah, it was terrible. It was so fun. It's what a weird setup. Doing? So then uh, <laughs> we went up to the top of the mountain, saw this spot that was overlooking the bay, and I was like, oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. I was like, but I want it to be like sunset. Like I would love for it to be like 5.30, 6 o'clock sunset, and then we can do it there, it'd be really pretty. But um, so we're going up and we're skiing all day and I'm just kind of looking for spots and um, <laughs> end up just overhearing the guy say it was the last run mm -hmm. on the way up. So I was like, oh no, like this is this has to be it. Like, <laughs> this oh, is oh, it. This is it. So we get all the way to the top and um, found a spot and like we said, we sat there and some lady asked to take a picture. and. I was looking at the picture and I was trying to make sure the lighting was right so you could see it in the video because the picture, like the way the sun was, 
Um, it was still too high, so it wasn't the sunset that I wanted. <laughs> and then, um, so then <laughs> this guy ended up coming down. And he was like, "Do you do you want me to take a video?" And I was like, uh, "This is it, I guess. Like this is gonna have to be it." So I set it up on video and I handed it to him. He was like, "You want me to take a picture, right?" And I was like, "No, it's all set. Just right, very from there." So I'd already push play and record or whatever, and um, so. <laughs> Proposed, and then he was like, a crazy story, right? He was like, yeah, This is really cool. He's like, It's so weird because I actually proposed to my wife here on top of the mountain. Yeah, and it was really 13 cool. years ago, two kids later. I know, it was amazing. Yep, so that was, was really, really cool. fun. We get to see all of that. Yep. But it was really funny. I watched I posted video because, like, it was like the poles dropped, <laughs> and then, like, I was looking at him, like, Oh my gosh, can we just have it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so much fun. I loved it. It worked out really well. It did. It ended up being a perfect weekend. It was a perfect weekend. And on the yeah. way home, the sunset was beautiful. It was like orange and red. Yes. It was so pretty. Yep. It yep. was so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Groomzilla. Well, Bonnie, you know me. I'm a princess. Right? <laughs> I do. I want things this, to be perfect. This is going to happen. <laughs> so those of you that don't know us, I am like the planner, like yeah. things have got to be right. Like here I am trying to work on the stream, right? And Macy's just like, nah, just wing it. Just wing it. <laughs> It'll work out. <laughs> like, it stresses him so much out like when I plan things because, oh, today. <laughs> okay, so today yeah. for the live video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you want to tell us? Oh no. It makes him so upset. But you got to have a, you can't be super strict. Because <laughs> life is just too short. Macy too lives short. life just on the just on the edge, just flying without a care. It's better like that. <laughs> She's a bird. She's a bird with no so plan, no have, destination. We have this little, we have this um, uh, little mic. It's like this big. It's for our videos that we yes, do every day. Yes, I don't have it with me. So, yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> it goes in the headphone jack of my phone, right? So, he's looking around for all morning. He's like, where did I put it? Where did I put it? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I have no idea where you put it. And we're like tearing everything apart, looking everywhere. So then he's like, well, maybe it's in the, the truck. So we drove, we drove to the barn and we only live like... We live five minutes from the barn. Yeah, we live five minutes from the barn. Yeah. So we get to the barn and he's like, oh, shoot, I forgot to look for the mic in my truck. So we're looking at his truck and I'm like, I don't, I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, it's probably back at home. Like, we need to go back home and look. Mm -hmm. So we drove back home and <laughs> come back. And Got out of the truck, came up the stairs, <laughs> unlocked the door, looked all through the apartment, don't find it. So I grab a different mic, and I'm like, I said to her, I said, you checked your coat, right? <laughs> I was like, why would it ever be in my coat? <laughs> I, I why would it ever be pocket. in your coat? That's a good question. <laughs> so then, <laughs> so then I was like, what do I need in my car? Oh, I wanted an umbrella because she wanted to go live outside. Yeah, she had this dream that she was going to go outside to do the live <laughs> video, and she was going to block the wind with an umbrella. For you guys. So, so I was going to sit like with the umbrella on my back, you know, with the umbrella around me like this, with the <laughs> phone in front of me, because that would block the wind, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it was so windy today. So anyway, so I'm like, okay, go around to the house and get my keys so I can get my car unlocked. So he goes back up to the house. <laughs> up the stairs, unlock the door, grab her, go to the house, look all through the house trying to find her keys. I find the pepper spray. Oh, you need pepper spray. <laughs> and all the cards that are supposed to go on her key ring. No key fob on the, on the pepper oh, spray. So he comes back right downstairs. He's like, where's your key? I was like, it's upstairs, isn't it? No, no, it's not upstairs. So then. It's in her purse the whole time. <laughs> it's right next to me. So then I, I got to go to my car and go get my umbrella. And then I brought the umbrella to the barn and the umbrella broke because it was so windy. Which is exactly what I said would happen in the first place. So long story short, Macy had the keys, the the mic. She's kind of a klepto. though. She just takes everything. I do. Well, usually you hand it to me, so now I, I, just, I just grab it. Yeah. I'm prepared. I'm always, I always have it. You know I have it. You just got to go around town to, to get it. I just have to remember to ask you first. <laughs> so funny. Or make rattling sounds. Could go either way. Yeah, I mean, the umbrella was like... Yeah, like we thought for sure Peanut was going to be really good with an umbrella whipping in the wind behind her. She's really her. quiet. Put her to the test. <laughs> I'm not riding her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. My mom's the same way as me, though. Yes. Like, like, me and my mom are like, we're twins. Yes. I was like, well, at least you know what you get. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Like, my mom makes plans, and he always gets so stressed out. <laughs> Yeah. He's very like, much we gotta like go. A, we gotta do things here. We got stuff going on. She's like, nah. 
And Bonnie, you know, like my my clinic days, my lessons just go on for hours. Yeah, but when you're giving clinics, you're like flow, you know, you go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's the one time somebody's gonna keep me on track. The rest of the time, I have to keep you on track. No, I usually keep you on track. For sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> Queensland, Australia, nice and cool. Mm, it's been hot there, right? Like, what is the weather in Australia? You guys are coming into winter now, right? Like, it's your guys' fall. Australia? Yeah, 75 degrees. Oh, it's so pretty. In Brisbane, right? Is that how you pronounce that? Brisbane? Brisbane? Brisbane. Not Brisbane? Next time bring every job you can and then fly. Yeah. They do always get messed up. Remember we lost our luggage? Oh my gosh. I had to give a clinic in tennis shoes and Duluth pants. In the same context. <laughs> I, was in, I was in wind pants. Yeah. <laughs> so yep. funny, tennis shoes. <laughs> Wind pants and That's tennis like, shoes okay, trying to get like, my clinic. First of all, you hate flying and then your luggage disappears. Like, that's literally like the worst thing that can ever happen to you. Mm -hmm. Is all of those things. All of those things. <laughs> awful. Yep. You're coming into winter. Oh boy. Yeah. What are the winters like there though? That can't be bad, right? If it's that hot in the summertime, your winter's got to be beautiful. The crazy guy picking us up a minute. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Just the weird dude in the black truck. He's super, super nice. Two o'clock in the morning. Super nice guy. But we were. He was, yeah, he was awesome. He was to. awesome. So we got off our plane. Where in Canada were we? Where were we stopped? I couldn't even say it. So we get off this plane and we don't have any luggage. It's like one o'clock in the morning. And we're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, what do we do now? And we're trying to talk to security people. And yeah. we're like, our luggage is gone. And then. Something happened, like the security person left and they were yelling at him, remember? Mm -hmm. They were like yeah. talking with the mic and they were really mad. Yeah. So then we walk out of the airport and this guy's like in this black truck <laughs> and he like rolls his window down like this far. He's like, Jeremy. You guys looking for Amy? We were like, like, uh, what? Oh, uh, <laughs> pepper spray, pepper spray. Didn't know this guy's name or anything. Yeah. So he's like, hop on now. I'm like, Jeremy, I'm not getting in that truck. We were like three hours in a car with a guy we had no idea who he was. So we get in and I'm like, Oh, I'm so happy I had Jeremy there. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? Like, what ever happened? I was like, oh, we were stupid. But it was one o'clock in the morning. Why did we get in that car? We had to. We had no other option. We didn't have any clothes, we didn't have any contacts, and nothing. So just jump in and Just jump in a car with a stranger, yeah. <laughs> just jump Let him drive in. three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bonnie, you almost got us arrested. What are you talking about? <laughs> we got pulled over. We had the cops. I was sleeping. Us. I was waking up and yeah. be like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most important thing we bring to a horse show, my red lunge line. <laughs> Gotta have my red lunge line. I'm trying to think what's the important thing. Fly spray. <laughs> oh, please, fly spray. For our mares. Fly our mares, spray. like Molly will legit lay down and roll. That's how she'll mad freak she gets. And Pete's like, <laughs> Pete will run time. away. <laughs> yeah, she'll run away. Absolutely. Uh, no, I don't think fly spray. What do you think the most important thing? Tail. Most important thing. <laughs> mm. A tail? <laughs> I had to pick one thing. One. Ooh, I don't know. You haven't seen us come to a horse show. We bring all the bridles, all, all the, the spurs, all the things, everything. One thing. Okay, one thing for showing and one thing for working. So probably lunch time for sure because you need to lunge. My lunch? Yeah, that's yeah. Your red lunch line. That's probably the most important thing. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> all jokes aside, like, my red lunch line. This red lunch line is like on its last life. Like it's my baby. If you go back to the that one's really bright. It's blinding. Oh, but well, the red lunch line is my baby. <laughs> yeah, like it literally has like little um, divots in it. Like the the strings start to separate. Yeah, so it's like perfectly <laughs> perfect to Cash. hold on to. Yes. Cash, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm trying to think what else. Hmm. Your membership cards. Oh, we never <laughs> had membership cards. Because we had to keep cards. buying NSBA memberships for oh like gosh. a year. We never had membership we cards. We bought like four NSBA memberships. There was, like, there was like, what's your membership? And I'm like. I was like, can you guys look that up? No. Okay. Do you have it on file? No. Okay. So yeah, fill out a whole new form every single time <laughs> we go to a horse show. Superstitions. Lucky socks. Hmm. I used not, to be. Super sorry. I used to be obsessed with that when I was younger. Um, no, not really. Yeah, super serious. Try to think. I, no, I have lucky nails. Remember, I, but the the French with the um, 
grade oh, yeah. going across. Yep. I won in them at the Pinot World, so now I lose them all the time when I... <laughs> The horse. Yeah, the horse is the most important thing in being the horse. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs them? <laughs> and do I have any superstitions? I don't think I do. No, you're really, you don't have any quirks. All of your quirks are on me. Like, that's, I make up for your quirks. <laughs> I got a lot of quirks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're really simple. I try to be. I try to not be complicated. I have a lot of weird mentalities. <laughs> I don't really have that many. I don't, I'm not really superstitious like that, though. No. All I do in the red line breaks, oh, I'll cry. We're going to have to make a grave for it. Okay, there will be a funeral. Notes. There will be a funeral. You guys are invited. We'll do a live stream funeral. <laughs> That'll be a sad, sad day. I mean, we use, like, the rope guy. Like, the tough, tough, what's that guy's name? <laughs> do you know? You don't know what I'm talking I have about. I no idea what you're talking about. Pretty sure if you type in the rope guy, you can find, let me know. Video games. <laughs> Uh, why didn't you just get more when you found out that you liked them? I, I, if, I'll have to ask my dad. He gets the ropes made. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what his name is, to be honest. But he makes like ropes. It's not. Um, it's not nylon or anything. It's like um, like a marine cord type. So it doesn't burn your hands. That's what I love about it. I had mints in my saddle to calm my nerves. Don't give Macy an idea. She'd be putting chocolate in it. Just oh, that'd be yummy. <laughs> Do you guys have any like? Okay, so when I was younger, <clears throat> I my mom because I used to be really nervous. So I got like this all natural like herb stuff that's supposed to be calming <laughs> for humans. <laughs> do you guys like take they're like gummies and they taste terrible? Do you guys do any of those? You doing weed weed edibles? No, I'm not doing weed edibles. <laughs> Are you sure Jimmy, those no. edible? <laughs> no, I got them from Harvest Health and they were calming. They're like berries. Jeremy, I would never do that. Stop. <laughs> those were edibles. Those were not edibles. Stop. I'm gonna be mad at you. Calming gummies. Stop. That was, no, it's not, no, it's not a thing. <laughs> Stop it. Always carry a ribbon in my last show, my next one. That's a good one. That's cool. Um, I do always have the same bander and braider at the Congress. Shauna Eisenhart is my go-to bander and braider at the Congress. <laughs> so. Kathy and Lynn and the <laughs> practice, practice shots. shots. Yes. <laughs> you guys are crazy. You're going my bar and eat those before shows. The edibles are just like common things. <laughs> Jimmy, you do this on a wrong path. Stop. <laughs> Those are the same thing. <laughs> the they don't work. I can get nervous on McKelvey, though. That's good. <laughs> I changed to just edibles for me because of my hot mess. Aww. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I don't get that nervous now. I think because my horse is like, I'm able to be like, okay, my horse isn't ready. I'm not going. I probably get way more nervous than you do to she watch gets, your show. She gets, she gets, you, she, she gets really nervous. To watch you show. Yeah. <laughs> He's always like, because I never, okay, so again, I hate walking horses. I don't want to see them walk up to the pen because that will, like, just send me through the roof. So I hop on a golf cart and I go up to the pen and I meet Jeremy up there because you have no idea, but mom is so naughty walking. She's, well, obviously well, you guys saw the saw, video. Yeah, they know. Yeah, she was always so naughty, so I hated watching her and I'd hop on. So he's always like, I was like, how was she? He's like, oh, she was great. <laughs> she was awesome. She's perfect. What are you talking about? She's fine. You get super nervous. And she'd be dancing, snorting, flipping her head upside down. <laughs> like we would just ice skate the entire way to but the But like pen. the second you jump on, she was like right there. Like she's always just like locked in. And yeah. I was, she was great. Yep. Yeah. But I think you get a little nervous showing. I, I don't like tell. to show. No, he does not like showing because you get a little like, you get a little mouthy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, uh, again, uh, uh, uh. again, shows are very strict timing, and Macy doesn't do well with strict timing at all. So I have to be like, "Let's go! It's time to go! We gotta get I'm to like, the pen! Let's you're go!" You're so crabby. <laughs> and I crabby. try to, I try to like, like I, I really try to keep my timing right for horse shows. Like I don't want to be up there too early. I don't want to be up there too late and have to stand up there. Um, I don't want to be late for the class. You know, like there's a very tight window, and horse shows are a lot of like sit around and do nothing and then panic. Like all of a sudden it's like all oh, you gotta rush. Yeah. So, like, we, we'd hurry up and saddle our horse, and then I'm, like, flipping through the live feed, trying to make sure we're going up to the pen at the right time. Congress is a hard show because it's such a long walk. You know, the best show that was um, was the Pinnacle World. Remember how well run that was? Pinnacle World was awesome. They, like, called, like, it was, it just was a really nice show. Mm -hmm. We were never early, we were never late. We were always, like, five minutes before, yeah. which was always perfect. Yeah, Pinnacle World was really fun. Growing up, I could never eat breakfast on a show to do my nerves. My grandma would always bring me a mocha frappe from McDonald's. I'm like, go do a juice for the day. See, uh, I can't I can't eat on show day. I can't either. So oh, I'll give no, you No, I, I love eating. So actually, I, I do eat on show day. I'll eat afterwards, but I can't eat before I show. No? No. 
I actually don't eat much, like on show days. Period. I just forget to eat, and I'm always running somewhere. We okay. So in Tulsa, at the when we showed there at the NSB World, at Pinnacle World and stuff, we always went to McAllister's. And have any of you guys been to McAllister's and got their baked potato soup? I eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> like you have no idea. That's amazing. Have any of you guys been to McAllister's? Like I wish there. I don't know if it's. A there's one here in Michigan, but it's in Lansing. I I yeah. would drive that far <laughs> for that soup. <laughs> now there's salad. They have the. Uh, what was my it? mom, my mom something. and him loved this salad. It was like pecans. They were like glazed though. And like a raspberry pecan salad. Yeah, it, it was, was amazing. It was really good. Yeah, get cranky when people go slow shows. Yeah, see. It's, it's hard. hard. It's hard to stay patient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm normally very patient. You're super patient. Normally very patient. I think I have you more patient than I am for sure. Yes. I don't have any patience. I got zero. <laughs> I got zero, zero. <laughs> Macy gets her mindset on something that it has to be right now. It's hard for me to wait. Mm -hmm. I get yeah. really stressed out. <laughs> it's unfair you yell at Carver to that little. <laughs> Thank you, She'll mother. eat you out of the house and home. <laughs> I do not. You eat constantly. <laughs> Congress bourbon chicken. Oh my yes. gosh, yes. We What we do, he eats the chicken, and then I love like the... the um, Sauce with the rice. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, look at Les McCasters is the bomb. Oh, the bomb see? soup and have a couple bowls of the beer. See, I love McCasters so much. I wish I could just have one like right next door. <laughs> because I used to love Panera Bread baked potato soup, but I went there. I'd only go there every Wednesday for baked potato soup, right? Only go there. And then I went there, how long ago? It was like a month ago I went there? Yeah. And yep. they discontinued it. I was so upset. Like, I don't think I'll ever go back to Panera Bread again because they discontinued that. Because I don't really know if I really like You were devastated. She, I even she had to talked call to the mom. manager. She talked, called, pulled the manager out there. We I had said, like a 15 minute conversation. <laughs> she was like, Are you sure you're out? You don't have more. Who canceled this? I need to talk to them. <laughs> the girl at the front at the front desk, she was like, I'm sorry, ma'am, but there's a lot. And I'm like, I talked to a manager. <laughs> yep. That was so bad. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Uh, CSI Saddle Pad, I've never heard of it. I'm looking at their site right what now. What is it? Interesting. CSI Saddle Pad, never heard what of it. What is it? Saddle Pads. G and D Hall was the I'd love to do that. Before. It looks like so much fun. Yeah, roping. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Walking Tacos Margaritas Sunday night, Saturday nights for the open shows. Oh, oh see? That's amazing. I love Walking Tacos. Oh my gosh, the Walking Tacos at uh, the, Congress. <laughs> so they, the, he even the guy at the Congress remembers her order year after year. He goes, oh, you're the girl who likes the liquid Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese and not the actual like shredded cheese on your like, walking taco. You haven't seen me since last year. <laughs> yeah, he remembered your order. I went there all the time. Yep. It was so good. And the sweet shop, obviously, they have. Oh, yeah. They made they me like us. they made me a special like little treat because how. After Marley's. After yeah. Marley's. It was yep. really fun. We got like whipped cream and cookie <laughs> and ice cream. and. Jay's mastered the bourbon chicken recipe. I'm going to have to get that from him. I'm going to need that. Yeah, I love that. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> Me too. I'm super patient at home with my kids and the horses. I show them a mess. I went, Aw. <laughs> get them four in the morning here to feed little miss and wait till lunch and stuff. So you know, I'm ready. I said, I gotta get ready. I'm very nervous. Take busket pan for my tummy. Hmm. I never have busket. I take probiotics. Yeah. I love probiotics. Not me. I got guts of steel. You got guts of steel. Like, literally, <laughs> oh my gosh. I like anything. It makes you so upset. You can eat anything. Yep. I've never been a barrel horse. I've never been on a barrel horse. I did barrels when I was a kid. I would love to. I tried teaching my horse when I was younger to do barrels. I love running. <laughs> <laughs> running and running. I had uh, <laughs> I had a little pony that was a little gray pony, and we decided to run barrels with him, and he bucked me off every time. I would run it home, and he'd just bite me off. I had a pony that kind of barrels. And like now, like I look back at it, and I go do ponies and stuff, like doing teeth, and I see a lot of ponies now. I could have swore my pony was like 16 hands. Ponies are tiny, they're like 14. I mean, obviously he's 14 too, right? He's less than 14 too, but he sure felt big. I don't think he was 16 so hands, that was not huge. a pony. That was a big pony. <laughs> that was not a pony. It's a big pony. He bought me off a lot. That was not a pony. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pony, but she had like asthma, so you could only like trot her for a little bit, and then she'd be like, she coughed. <laughs> and then I'd have to get off of her, and then I'd brush her. <laughs> you had an asthmatic pony? That's probably what everybody should start with, I feel like. <laughs> not me. I had a three year old, 30 day broke pony. I was very fortunate, my parents. They always gave me at least kind of broke horses. Macy's so. never been bucked off. Mm -hmm. Like a wood chip, me. Every time, they get, every time, I, I mean, I'll ride them if they get a little naughty. Oh, the only thing I won't do is your rear. If they come off the ground, I am like a lightning bolt off that horse so fast <laughs> you didn't even see me get off the horse. <laughs> Rearing to me is like probably the scariest thing. Yeah. 
That's so terrifying to me. Yeah. Victor and Janet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, so, yeah, she's never been bucked off. I've been bucked off a lot. I grew up getting bucked off. Yeah, because my kid, well, Jeremy hated horses. So did I. I hate horses, too. I cried every time I saw a horse. Tell us five, and I loved them. But you hated horses. I did. I started showing at, like, 16. I'd never shown before that. Was not, like, a youth kid at the shows. I mean, my mom showed open shows and stuff, but we didn't do a lot of, like, showing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. A lot of trail riding. A lot of getting bucked off. I never my chose. brother loved horses. Yeah, he loved it. Now he hates and them. And now he hates them. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he hates them. He just, just doesn't want to see them. Yeah. Yeah. He, he doesn't seek them out. No, he doesn't much. seek them out. No. <laughs> no, not like we do. Mm-hmm. Yep. I feel like once you get your first horse, you just like, you're just stuck. You get sucked in. But you either, get sucked in. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, no. Because I didn't well, really want to. When his mom told him... <laughs> Hello. I'm sure that's <laughs> Janet, not Victor. Yeah, probably. <laughs> when his mom told him that he couldn't do something, if you tell Jeremy, oh, you can't do something, he's like determined to do it. Yeah, so that was if I it. want something done, I'm like, well, you can't do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was the end of it, right? So um, my mom had a super naughty horse, and he was a Zippo. He's not a Jack. He was a Jack Bar. Not a Zippo Jack Bar, but a Jack Bar. Mm-hmm. And um, they used to call him like Jack Attacks. So his horses would just randomly trip out, and he, I, he, we were trail riding him, and he started getting naughty. And she said that uh, I couldn't, I couldn't. I was like, "Oh, because I found and fix him." Because she had asked my friend to. I was like, "Well, why can't I do it?" She was like, "Well, you're not a good enough rider." And that oh, was it. That was the end of it. Was, that was the end of it. Don't tell me I can't do something. Mm-hmm. Doesn't work. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> Does that work for Jeremy? <laughs> I got a lot of determination when you tell me I can't do something. <laughs> Barrel horse flipped over me. She's sixteen, two hands. Woof. Yeah, see, so when oh, I was that's so scary. when I was younger and cocky, I was on my own train, and I had a big gray horse um, that we bought off an auction, and I I was gonna put some draw reins on, and I was gonna get some training <laughs> done, and I put the draws on, and I made it about two steps, and that thing flipped over on me, and then I got back up and got back on, and he flipped over right away, and I was like, ah, I'm done, <laughs> see, done, done. Put the draw reins on. I never once got myself into a wreck like that. Yeah, I didn't know nearly as much. Like I was pretty aggressive, like trying to be mean to him. And then, like, so all the times I've been hurt in my life, no. what I've figured out is you just gotta be nicer to the horses. Take See, I your was time. always super nice. That's why I haven't gotten a wreck. Yeah. You know, I probably should stop talking because I'm gonna, <laughs> like, gonna I'm gonna go to a horse show and you're all gonna be sitting there watching me and I'm gonna be like face buttons. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm yep. gonna eat dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I remember stalking neighbor's driveway waiting for a ride. Really? See, so I grew up on a farm. Like, we had, we had a lot of auction horses, we had tons. At one time, we had like 15 horses. Mm-hmm. They all come thundering down the hill at 15 <laughs> acres. Um, so I always grew up around horses. I always had horses. Nice yeah. Always had horses. Yeah. I, my mom had horses. And then... But you boarded, right? Like you had, Yeah. You we, never had a horse No, we house. had a yeah. horse at our house. But we boarded. It does. It does. It costs just as much to feed a bad one as a good one. You're absolutely right. And it's the same thing when you go to show, right? You go to train it up. Everything. The price is the same. They don't give you discounts for showing up with good ones. No. Doesn't happen. So I tell people, buy better horses. That's been the Sometimes single, you love them. single biggest <laughs> piece of advice I can tell people is just get better horses. Yep. Yeah, I know. Yep. I have to put my cookies in the oven still. Yeah, it's eleven o'clock. I can't believe you guys are still up with us. <laughs> I know. We've been live for a long usually time. Usually I'm up at like I'm usually I'm up till like one. Macy's a night owl. And then he tries to wake me up at like eight o'clock or seven in the morning. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You need to exit left. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Exit left stage? Stage left. Yeah. Stage left. <laughs> Treat my parents and looking horses for lease and at least for eight years. Work smarter, not harder. There you go. Aw, that's awesome. There you go. <laughs> we had drafts. Wow. Bro, be fun. Six weeks less than fix the issue. Here we are. 40 weeks here. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah. See? That'll do it. Did you just get hooked? Mm-hmm. Horses are cool. horses, yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm See, usually in bed like midnight, she's a morning 12 30. Person. But I'm up at like know. six. Up at six, six thirty every day. No, thank you. Mm-hmm. No, yep. thank you. <laughs> if I could, I'd sleep till like noon. <laughs> yes. You would have no problem doing that. But I love staying up super late. Yeah. It's easier to stay up late for me than than wake up early. Waking up early is just awful. I don't feel myself. I'm ornery. <laughs> I just don't like it. Yep. I don't yeah. like the whole thing. It's true. But we have a bunch of cookies to make. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Well, thank you guys. This is fun. <laughs> this is really fun. 
The Welsh Bear it? Pony is testing me the best pony I've ever owned. What size is much? <laughs> no, Jamie's late. always running late. Jamie, you're always late. Really? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. No. For no. sure. No. For sure, so. for sure. <laughs> I'm usually on time. You're late. I'm always like, Jamie, I gotta go live to start in 10 minutes. And then you get to bar and you're like, yeah, you're late. And I'm like, oh, you should have been working in the lobby. Because look what happened today. <laughs> you done gooped. Oh, no. I don't know if I'm going to get that fixed. I think it's a problem with the app. I think I'm just going to have to disable the alerts. I was just trying to get you guys to see your name called on the stream. So I wanted yeah, just, and it would be like. Just red across the top. <laughs> but I don't think my phone can handle it. No. Just got to buy a better phone. Is there barn heated? No. Um, there's heaters in there, but it's not insulated. Yeah. So it has a hard time, like, keeping the heat, um, Yeah, the, the stall area is heated to 45. Yeah, the stall area is really warm, but if you've ever seen the videos, like, there's, like, that big white stuff, like, the big curtains, so you can close the curtains, but we haven't done that yet because I'm scared of this would freak out. The arena's real cold. Yeah, so they're, they said that might help, like, keep the heat in a little bit, but, um, the horse area is heated. Yeah. And there's heaters in the arena, but the problem is is that the heat just rises and goes right out of the roof. Yep. Because it's not like it's not like to keep the, the heat in. Yep. Second shift. And I think that's that's probably the one the, like the biggest determining factor for us, like in the northern states, right? So we got a lot of people in Canada in here, um, is the cold, right? It's so hard to compete against the guys from Texas and Oklahoma that can be riding outside in February. Well, it's so hard to say. We were going to go live because we yeah. were home and it was beautiful. And we're like, let's go to the barn and ride a little bit and then we'll go live. Mm -hmm. We got to the barn and it was snowing. Yep. I was like, oh my gosh. We live in a wind tunnel. That's, that's why I brought that umbrella, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's very hard to get horses ready. So we kind of like, if we had a two-year-old that wanted to really get ready, then we'd be fine. But we don't really push for the twos because it's just really hard to compete against those guys. It is really hard. Um, no. Put them on the lights to help shut out. So I used to, right, when we would show a lot, um, when I was running like a bigger program um, and had a lot of clients, then I would definitely put them on the lights to help them get ready. Um, but I don't put them on the lights now because, I mean, we usually have young horses or a horse that we're fixing, so there's no reason to try to get them ready to show in March or April. Right. And by, by late April, they're usually slick. Okay. And not only that, but <clears throat> so my advice to you guys for lights before we leave um, is to give them a break. Don't keep them under lights all year long. It's so like when we go to Congress, my horse is under lights, and then we pull the lights off in like November, and I'm going to leave the lights off until late January because I want their hair to cycle. And what I've found is that if you don't give them a break, then you might end up hairy in like July, August. Right. And that's not good. So your hair is always going to cycle like it takes 90 days to shed one out when you start them under lights. So you can kind of play with that. Um, but I find that keeping them under lights all the time, you kind of, you got to reset their hair cycle every now and then. Yeah. So I give them a break. <clears throat> yep. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys. That We're going to make fun. some cookies <laughs> and uh, we'll try to um, <laughs> we'll try you work tomorrow. on the stream a little bit. We're supposed to work on the stream. I was supposed to go be over there with the cookies. Yes. Oh, it's still going. I know. It's still making it's still noises. Going. Yep. So uh, we'll play with that a little bit. Um, thanks so much for hanging out. This is really yeah, fun. Yeah, this is fun. Let's do more of these. Yeah, we'll do more of these little chats. <laughs> we have a lot of stories. <laughs> a lot of stories. Yep. Awesome. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow. We'll be live, and uh, we'll we'll get the the video from today uploaded with the fixed yeah, audio, the so fixed you don't audio. have the two three minutes of quiet. It was so funny. I'm like, oh, I had such great information. <clears throat> You did. You no, crushed the intro that I time. I did, and then I had to restart because I'm always like, "Hey, what are we gonna say about staying a script?" Just kidding. I usually go way off. Yeah. yeah. We usually don't have a script. Usually, no, we don't do a script. We, we usually do, like, are two like, things we talk about, and that's it. Yeah, we're always like, "This is gonna do it," and then we do it, and then it usually just goes off <laughs> on its own little path. Because sometimes yeah. we have a whole different video lesson for you guys, but for some reason, mm -hmm. we always end up doing the opposite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, well, have a great night, guys. Thank we'll you. see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. I love you guys. Bye. See you tomorrow.